Yo, Twitch, what up? Oh my God, hello, Vanquare with the tier or uh, tier one five month sub. Wow, wow, wow! Electric shot, B mom time cloak. Happy uh, Wednesday, yeah, happy Wednesday. Wow. Wild Bill's in the house. Squid Squad. Somewhat like Squid Game. Sweeping the sweeping the universe. Hey, Mini Cardinal. Squid Squad says Wild is better than Standard because Demon Seed is banned. There you go. I like it. Sounds accurate to me. Uh, let's play. I want to play a Fell Demon Hunter. Or not Demon Hunter. Warlock. There are some Fell Synergy cards and duels. And I want to try them. Passives, that is. We did it in Warlock once, but it wasn't really that good. Uh, but I want to try the Fell Synergies. There's whenever you cast a Fell spell, give a minion in your hand, plus three, plus two. And after you cast a Fell spell, deal two damage to the lowest health enemy. Now, I need to know what Warlock cards are actually fell spells to understand what hero power to pick. Uh, oh, there's really not that many. Imp Swarm, Fiendish Circle, Demonic Assault, and Demon Fire. Oh, Demon Fire is actually not fell. Why is that showing up? That's weird. Is it fell? It doesn't have the tag on the website, but it also shows up when I search it, so I don't know. So definitely more of a minion swarmy deck. So I think like a hand buff demon kind of thing might actually be cool. Probably don't want to go too hard into soul fragments. So maybe we go demon blood. Just use that to kind of fix our curve and make more tokens. This guy also seems pretty relevant since he's going to be adding demons to our hand. This isn't bad either though. Could get a big buff board, but I think I like this, how it's just a little bit more, like, self-sufficient. This demands synergies. Uh, this guy is not that interesting. Kill Mox, we don't have discard synergy. Uh, that's more soul fragment -y. Although, this art is cool looking. I've never noticed this before. Jeez. I don't, like, love the art, but it's just a really cool image. Let's go, Demonizer. He makes sense to me. So, we want fell spells. Yeah, Demon Fire is spell. On the website, it wasn't showing as fell. Look at this. Here, I'll show you. It, it showed up when I searched for Fell, but it doesn't have the tag on the card. Interestingly. So we want Imp Swarm. Oh, we can go Philosophy. Yeah, I didn't even see that one. That's good. Uh, Fiendish Circle and Demonic Assault. So that would be the core Welcome. Fell spell package. And there's definitely some, like, swarmy stuff in here. Yeah. So we probably want stuff that, like, supports token decks. So, uh, Shady Bartender seems kind of cool. Buff and all this stuff also has tradable if we need to. Uh, we could go, like, Flame Imp. Seems pretty good. Basically, low-cost Zooey Demons seem really good in particular. Maybe Midway Maniac. Our Hero Power gives a random demon. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, what else do you guys like for this? Cards that are maybe good zoo buff cards or something? Uh, hey, Thunderstone! Oh my gosh, already dropped a donation and now five months up. That's crazy, dude. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, Shady Bartender definitely seems... Seems good. Dreaded Mount? Uh... It's not the worst, honestly. It's like three mana, that's okay-ish. Uh, I don't think it's good enough though, right? Like, I guess it does always give me a buff target for like Shady Bartender. Doesn't seem that good though. I think I wanna add in some like damage or follow-up cards more. Like, I think I'd rather have almost like a Wriggling Horror or, you know, like something like that instead maybe. Uh, do we go Demonic Studies, Bloodbound Imps, pretty big. Oh, Minari Mosher might be good, because it can both deal damage and give me some life gain, both of which seem important. Uh, we might actually have to run Card Draw on this deck, because we... 
Oh. Wow. Does anybody play this with big demons? That's actually a cool deck idea, too. That's not this deck, but something we should take a look at again. Weapon. Weapon Warlock. Uh, I kind of want to run like a soul fire. I just think damage is so good early in duels, right? That any face damage goes a really long way. So like a soul fire, maybe a power overwhelming even. <laughs> Dex, yeah. Uh, yeah, Dex, sure. I can send them your way. Yeah. I'll forward you the uh I'll forward you the email, okay? <laughs> Surely you're getting the same ones I'm getting. You've done some awesome stuff I haven't got I haven't gotten emails on though, so maybe not. Maybe we're uh on separate sides of this. Are you still streaming, Dex? Like you're streaming right now. I took a long time to get here though. Uh eggs? Why do we like eggs? Summon an egg, get a five five? Void Terror is kind of a neat idea. I don't know if I love the egg idea. This doesn't buff eggs. They're not demons, right? We don't have our, our discard hero power. That one egg. Zero mana sacrifice summon a 5-5. Five, five. I don't know if I like that. What am I looking to destroy? Uh, this only summons four, right? So it's actually going to require a little too much work, I think. I think we're going to end up going taller because of the stat buffs, right? And that other fell synergy also is the stat buff too. I'm, I'm not, I'm not totally sold on this. I, I think it'll be too hard to get to five. Because like you'll have to have a minion out already to get fiendish circle. So you're talking about spending quite a bit of mana. And it's maybe just a 5-5. Five, five. In other words, I don't know if the 5-5 five, five goes far enough. I'm not I'm not convinced. I'm sorry. I appreciate the recommendation. It's not a crazy one. I like it in theory, but in practice, I think it's going to get stranded. I think I might actually need card draw at this point, because despite being a warlock, uh, this deck doesn't have card draw. We do have a lot of demons, so free admission seems pretty decent. Like, I added a non-demon here, but it just seems like such a good card. And I added a non-demon here, but again, it's such a good card. I think it's worth it, right? Are there any, um... Oh, Raised Dead is a neat idea, too. I do like Raised Dead, sort of. Although, I don't know, our demons aren't really that good. It's not like we have really high-impact minions, right? Um, what was I going to do? I was going to do something. I forgot what I was going to look at. Oh, shoot. What was I going to look at? Oh, I was going to look at, uh, see if there are any demon synergies that we just should account for. We have like our fell stuff covered, but are there any demon passives that we need to keep an eye out for that we might want to like pivot towards? Whenever a demon dies, draw a card and deal one damage to your hero. That's kind of okay, I guess. Card draw is good in zoo decks, maybe. Uh, I think that's the only demon-based passive in duels, so. Backfire. I ran free admission instead, just because you have so many demons. I think between Cobalt Librarian and free admission will be okay. We also have at least one tradable card, and we can always find more draw if we need to later. All right, let's give it a shot. Yeah, I do think Raise Dead sucks for them, so I think that's right, yeah. Just taking too much damage, not really getting the, the big payoff. Alright. Cool. Spells. Ooh, damage output. Let's go, dude. Uh, all right. Let's look for a curve. Better, right? I think we don't even need this. Do we keep this? No, let's not even keep that. Let's look for one drops. We actually have a lot of one drops. So.
Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, one drop. Yeah, let's go. Uh, do we ever hit the button first? Or just stay on curve? I think we just stay on curve, right? I mean, I want I want initiative. I want minions. We're going to go hard here. This deck actually does have quite a bit of damage, right? Power Overwhelming and Soul Fire is 8 burst. This guy is theoretically another 3. Now we do need a board to enable that. Demon Fire can also push damage face if we have a board. So a few different ways to, to hit pretty hard. Speaking of which, let's just buff this so that we get uh, a little bit more resiliency here on board. Uh, next turn, we're going to go Minari to hit for six. Then I have Soul Fire. That's going to put him down to seven. I need to stick seven damage somehow. I think that'll be all right. I didn't talk about adding Fire Breather in this deck, by the way. I just grabbed it and didn't explain why. But I, I like it a lot, actually. I think it's important to have a little bit of... A uh, little bit of reactivity. Uh, okay. Let's just play this in Minari. I th or Midway Maniac, I mean. Oh, good. It got buffed. That's even better. A little worried we were going to buff the Minari, which is worse. We want to get the, the stats on board faster, right? Wouldn't have been a bad philosophy either, by the way. Can hold that for Demonizer, though. It's pretty good. Okay. Just a shard. No biggie there. Fiend to circle button seems pretty good here. Could try to get the Minari now, but I think we'll stick minions again. And uh, in that case, I might value the healing a little bit, right? Sport's kind of susceptible to mage, but may not have a good AoE for it. This HP always felt super slow to me. What's your plan to counteract that? You think this feels slow? I don't know. It's only one mana. If it was two mana, I would think it'd feel slow. I haven't played it before, so I don't... My plan was to run really cheap minions for it, which, we, you know, we achieved that. Yeah, I don't know if that'll be satisfactory or not. I've never played it. They had the AoE. That sucks. Imp Swarm is a good reload now, though. I don't really want a Minari the Imp Swarm, but it might be worth it just to put a 5-5 down. Let's see what we can do to fill in here, maybe. Free admission Imp Swarm's a possibility. This could hit Kobold Librarian and Shady Bartender, but it's probably okay. The more important thing is that we kind of keep them on the back foot, I think. Flame Imp seems really good to put in another minion here. I love these Imps, by the way. They're just like shooting finger, finger guns Imps. It's so funny. <laughs> Um, roll the tier 2 passive that discounts your hero power by 1 and lets you use it twice per turn oh my god that would actually be insane yeah I haven't that's a, that's one of the like hyper rare ones I haven't seen that in a long time I was I wouldn't even be convinced it was still in the game honestly but I, I think it probably is uh, okay so this plus Minari is insane uh, we can also demon blood it hits one of the two guaranteed Uh, Meteor is in the pool now. I don't know how to position it anymore. I mean, I think, uh, Combustion's probably the more likely, uh, threat. So this kind of is like a middle ground. Medium-sized thing in the middle instead of the biggest thing in the middle for Meteor. I don't think it really matters much. Uh, so we have seven damage in hand. Kind of need to stick one more damage. Power Overwhelming would be some direct damage. Oh, Kona Cold shuts that down, though. Demonizer. Let's uh, buff him and copy him. This might actually reduce my ability to play whatever he has in him, but uh, I don't know. He's so big anyway. It should be okay. Eh, I still get to play it. Cool. Uh, do I ever soul fire the 4 4? I, I don't think so, right? When we're this close to winning. It seems wrong. What seems wrong to me, but I don't know. Uh, I am I am kind of out of gas, though. Like, I need to stick a minion here, because I only have seven direct damage. Any minion sticking is fine. Oh my god, there actually was the meteor, but it was the generated one. Wow! I'm honestly not even mad. That's just amazing.
Okay. I really don't. I still don't think I can soul fire this. It spell damage is annoying, but I I don't know. I think I just I might be dead. Incredible meteor, dude. Incredible meteor. Uh, just played mage with oops only spells discover on arcane. Wow, nice. That does sound fun. Hey, readers, just want to say I'm loving duels content. Oh, thanks. Yeah, me too, actually. Okay, I don't really even need a specific minion here. I just need any minion to stick. I think they're going to clear both, though. I may have to rely on fatigue in this game to win. My god. I'm actually going to die. Oh my god. I'm not, I can't win with fatigue now. Ignite beats me. Uh, how do I win? <laughs> I'm so dead. <sighs> One damage off, dude. Just unbelievable. Just one damage off, dude. They cleared every board. That meteor was so clutch. Fire sale was perfectly timed. Kona cold. Just a little bit too much AoE. I can't use Fatigue to win. I can't resolve the board. I think I'm just dead, right? Just dead. Good try, though. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. What if we gotten a Shady earlier if we could have won? Try hard. I'll give you that. Hey, Regis, loving the duels content, man. Keep it up. Always look forward to your YouTube vids. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, we might have been super dead anyway. Well, I guess we could have won a previous turn. So maybe not. Ooh, just a little bit too much AoE. They even had that Reckless Apprentice in their back pocket, too, so I don't even really know if we were that close. Oh, we got All Shall Serve. Whenever a demon dies, draw a card and deal one damage to your hero. Uh... I'm actually a little bit nervous about this because I, I don't really have any meaningful life gain, right? I have exactly Minari Mosher. Uh, and I, it's like... <sighs> it, it almost seems too risky, right? Hey, Psycho Striker dude, thanks for the prime sub. Do I have enough card draw that like, you know, I, I need like um, Emerald Goggles or something almost to support this, right? Where it's like, I can, I need to be able to play stuff fast enough to beat my opponent before I die from the natural demon natural demon deaths you know what i mean like I, I don't think this alone gets me there oh my skull is just not not worth uh these are big demons these are big i mean this is some healing i guess hooked reaver actually does synergize pretty well with all she'll serve okay sure I don't think this counts as taking damage from my cards for the spell stone. I think I have to play like flame imps and stuff, but should still be okay. This is really nerve wracking though. Hey, Zuralani, thanks for the prime sub. That's amazing. Yeah, I can get heals and buckets. Yeah, as, as we saw, that's that's a fair argument. To, to, to Like, it's not that risky to take the damage, but I still... I'm not even really worried about like, you know dying outright so much particularly late in a run i'm just I, I need something to actually leverage the card draw in other words you know last game i spent all of my mana every turn practically i guess not at the end really but we were out of cards anyway in other words if i'm spending all my mana anyway the card draw doesn't really help right because i was filling my mana extra cards in hand i mean it would give me slightly more choice sure but not exactly more tempo so it, oh god, oh god, I'm so dead. I'm actually dead. Spellstone today, that was pretty sweet. Um, particularly when I get the, 
the double dinger here. Yeah, let's just play both of these actually already. Um, it's just higher threat, right? It's five damage on board, so. Fully upgraded Spellstone on turn one's nice. The next turn I can actually go Blood into Voidwalker 2, which is pretty sweet. Uh, do we Philosophy it actually now that it's going to be even bigger? I, I guess so, we already have a board. This is a really nice play next turn. They're both gonna be enormous. Warlock's probably not great at dealing with four fives either. I haven't really seen Staff of Pain in Warlock, but it's cool. Actually, legitimately thought this was a priest for the first, uh, until right now. <laughs> until I said Warlock, I thought it was a priest, so just for the record. Uh, what was that? School Spirits, yeah, that was good. Okay. Oh, got buffed again, nice. <laughs> I, th I legit thought it was a priest until I said the word Warlock. And looked at the portrait, I was like, oh, wow, okay. I just see Staff of Pain, I think, Priest. So, I mean, this is an awfully nasty board. Um, Hooked Reaver, if they use the Shadow Spell, is actually going to be active as well next turn, which is really cool. They do use the Shadow Spell. It's a good one, too. Man. Actually, it managed to clear. Do, 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 do. Guess we'll just play the big fatty here again. Put them pretty low. I do actually have a lot of burst in my deck. It's just none in hand right now. I guess this guy's pretty good. This could be a lethal out. Uh, if not, I mean, we're probably gonna have to heal off Spellstone like this turn. I doubt we can take a chance here. I mean, we have 11 on board, right? So there's just a chance this is enough with Bartender. Uh, Soulfire and Power Overwhelming are big draws. Minari Mosher is a big draw. Some big draws, basically. Oh, we have Demon Fire as well as plus two, so. That could be enough. Not in combo with this, though. These are the same. But if we get a cheap card, right, we could play this and the cheap damage out. Ten. Okay. That helps. This guy's nine now. If, even if this dies, we can deal nine. Why do you Taunt in the way. Demonic Assault of Minions, so three taunts in the way. Nice. Three taunts sucks. This doesn't deal any damage. These don't work. Don't do enough. Uh, I think I got a Spellstone. I'm getting too low, right? So I guess that means I just buttoned the Spellstone. I am not excited about the turn, though. I really wish I had a, a better turn here. Hmm. That's actually quite good. That, that would be quite good. Okay, I gotta be honest. I did not realize this worked on my enemy stuff until just now. I was so confused. Uh... I did not process that it's any demon. It's not just friendly demons. That is sort of bad. Uh, I just took extra damage and filled my hand for no reason. It's not good. <laughs> it's actually not good. I mean, it would be great if I were uh, behind and like clearing their minions and stuff and wasn't burning all of my cards. Guys, this, no guys, <laughs> this effect sucks. <laughs> Who signed me up for this? <laughs> this is garbage. Uh... I think I have to just go big here and like hope. To like stick a couple minions right and then i can well i don't even know all i really have is demon fire i guess i have sh a, a dude yeah that's what i have to do here is just hope that i'm not dead oh but this just kills me they just kill these i just take fatigue this won't work 
if they're smart at all, they'll just kill these and I'll just take a billion fatigue damage. But it's I think it I think it's legitimately my only out is that they don't fatigue me to death and I get a shady bartender that can hit face, right? I think that's the only way I can win. Shady plus soul fire next turn is potentially quite a bit of damage. So if they're smart, they'll just kill all my minions and I'll be dead to fatigue. Uh but what else can I do? <laughs> just, I'm not I'm not living any other way. Maybe they won't notice and they'll just hit face, right? I mean, I guess if they can't kill these with an AoE, it's the same. They're actually dealing less damage, perhaps, by hitting the minions than by hitting my face. Um, am I going to do this? I don't think this is enough either way. Like, whether they hit the dudes. I guess they can hit these dudes. Is that enough? Four plus eight. That's, I'm going to have lethal, I think. Wow. Heads up plays. Yeah, this. I mean, they did basically this a little more damage maybe than, than hitting me in the face, but it's not enough to kill me, so. Somehow I win? Weird. Wow. We found the line, dude. Uh, Wobbledorn, dude, thanks to the nine months, man. <laughs> weird game, huh? That was that was a weird realization about how the treasure worked in the first place. Okay, I need life steal. I actually like this a lot. We have wide boards. I usually always say like with this, anytime we get offered this, I say we don't have wide boards. It's not that good. In this deck, we actually have wide boards, and I desperately need the healing. So it, it it's rather synergistic for once. Uh oh, this is pretty good for us. That is garbage. This isn't bad either. I like Wriggling Horror, but I think I just prefer imps and jugglers and stuff. Basically another kind of fiend to circle style play. And, and jugglers actually surprisingly good for us too. Swarm baby. Hey, uh, Hellmons, dude, thanks for the prime sub. Hellmons. <laughs> it's time for Regis to mold about juggler. Yeah, that's welcome to 2015 again. <laughs> We're back to 2015. Uh, okay, I think we definitely keep uh, Demonizer. It's just so powerful now. We already got upgraded, so. Oh, good curve. Okay, I need a three drop, but we can fill that in maybe with hero power plus something. I'm sure we'll find a card by then. Uh, mage is always spooky. Mage is spooky. Because I take so much damage already, right? Like, mage can just murder me. <laughs> it's just like I'm, I'm taking so much damage off this. Somehow we stole that last game. Because they didn't have an AoE. Okay, at least quest is fairly slow. It's A3 drop, but not really the one we want. I mean, I guess Blood Moon's fine if these stick in particular, right? It's pretty good on three. It's a solid attack buff. It's healing me up some damage I've already taken, so. Less good now. Probably go free admission now if there's not a, a tempo play here. Button plus any two drop would be good. I don't know if a button one drop would be good enough. Um, That might fill in. Let's see what that other card is. This is where that benefit of choice happens, right? Like I actually maybe get some choice here, yeah. This definitely feels a little better. Hooked Reaver will be active soon-ish. This guy's a good turn four in the meantime, though. Well, okay. Had it one time where the opponent's Leroy killed them via the whelps and my juggler, my life peaked. Yeah, Leroy either killing itself off of the juggles or just the opponent dying. Both of those can certainly be highlights. Those are historic moments in every Hearthstone player's life. Ah, uh, I can spellstone that, but I... Ugh. I think I gotta play for bigger. Does I, I really don't? It's not the it's not the card on board that's dealing damage to us, right? So this won't actually activate. I don't think. Uh, might not get better for a while at this. What we can currently see, anyway. Wow, a Netheron, dude. It's actually cheap even without the full hand. Uh, okay. 
She is uh, not good for us. <laughs> I don't have any bees, but hey, eh, it's a one six. It's a it's a bo it's a body for Blood Moon, and that alone right now is is pretty valuable. I'd say actually, and Etheron's an even better body for Blood Moon. If I can get him to stick for a turn, that would be bonkers. Bonkers body for Blood Moon. That's what I want. What's been your favorite recent duels deck or run? Uh, definitely the one I posted on YouTube today. It was insane. It was an Elwyn Boar deck. If you haven't seen that one, definitely check out YouTube. It was very much a highlight. Okay, still stalling out my board. Not going too hard face yet or anything. I think I'm okay with that. All right, we're going to go Juggler and Netheron of all things. Oh, actually, I could copy the Netheron right now. Uh, it's not bad, actually. It's a pretty good buff on it. Yeah, I think I will. The only upside to Juggler is it could maybe snipe the Wand Thief, but I don't really need to yet. If this hits Netheron in particular... Ah! Uh, still okay, right? He's still enormous. So... Got myself like trying to position around Meteor, you know, like we just got burned so hard by that Meteor earlier. Not that hard. And I actually did position well around it, so I guess not, or at least I tried to. I don't remember if I did actually. Uh, why is duels a mode that's supposed to be broken more balanced than standard and wild? Uh, because there's less consistency in duels. So broken things happen in duels, but they don't feel like they happen all the time and they don't feel as bad because... Uh, they're not consistent, right? Like, your opponent had to make some magic usually to make it happen. So you almost feel happy or excited for your opponent as opposed to like, oh, this guy's doing this again. It's like with Quest Mage, it's like, oh, they're doing it again. And although this right now is probably not the best example because this is a Quest Mage. <laughs> Duels even, you know, they're still, it's harder for them to be consistent because they don't have access to guaranteed cards. So... Hearthstone's very consistent right now. I, maybe it's like peak consistency. All games, you know, most games feel like they begin and end in very similar fashions. Which some people love, by the way. I'm not as big of a fan of it personally. Some people adore that kind of Hearthstone. Um, oh, hey, this did activate, by the way. So this is activating from All She'll Serve. Is that right? I didn't play anything that damaged my stuff, right? It must be. Wow, this lives? It lives. Uh, do you have any lethals then? 10 plus 2? I don't think this is lethal, but it, it feels like it has to happen, right? You are defenders of a Let's just go ahead and clear one of these. I mean, does putting that at 6 change any of my breakpoints? Uh, or putting it at 8. Actually, 8? Yeah, we found out that 8 is actually not good. Seven's a better number for us because of Demonic Assault and Soul Fire interaction. So I, I think I'm actually going to hit face here. It's a little bit scary to disrespect the 1-2s one, one because it could hit me in the face, but I think we'll be okay. We have that, that Spellstone in hand. Plus, I still just have to clear all this stuff. And I'm at full health currently, so maybe it'll be right. These Netherons have been clutched, though. So, I don't know. It just depends on what you like, right? Like, I don't like this model of standard, but I think people who are optimizers, people who are, like, you know, tend to be, like, more competitive or certainly pro players um, really kind of dig this meta because it has a lot of optimization and you can kind of master your deck and lines very easily because there's not a lot of unexpected stuff happening. Whereas people who are maybe more like creative and goofy and stuff like me, who aren't as much about optimization because I don't care about optimization, aren't having as much fun in this meta because we want to do goofy stuff and have unexpected moments. And there's less of that, right, for standard. But duels is certainly satisfying the goofy side of things for me. So, you know, you just take what you can get when you can get it. And if you're not happy, you wait for the next meta and hope for the best. It's my perspective anyway. Uh, you know, I haven't made a big video out crying how bad I think this meta is or anything for me because it's for me and I There are other people who are enjoying it. I don't want to spoil their experience, you know Let them have that right uh, 
I don't have any like silence effects, right? No, I can't silence this off. I could hit a soul fire. How much damage can I get off juggler right now? Actually, maybe quite a bit if I hit circle or implosion. Maybe not enough for lethal though. Keep up the Holy moly, Wild Bill! You big bearded. Hey, wow, thanks, Wild Bill. That's so nice, man. Thirty-five dollar donation. You wait. What did you call me? You big bearded. What? So are you ready for Mercs? Uh, I actually am ready for Mercs. I played some Mercs today, and I thought it was pretty cool. I gotta say. Uh, I can't get into a ton of details, but man, he came right back. What a jerk. Well, I wanted this to go better. I'll be honest. I kind of got the cards I didn't want. I did get myself closer to my burst damage, so that's handy, so but were we're still a bit batch. off. So we'll see. Uh, indeed, yes. I made the made the batch. Wild Bill, I can't read... Oh, there it is. Keep up the positivity, you big bearded butte. Oh, the word was butte. I, I thought it said biscuit at first out of the corner of my eye. I thought, I thought you called me a big bearded biscuit. I was like, well, that's a new one. I like it, but thanks, Wild Bill. Thanks, Tremidius. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't give specifics on the mercenary stuff, but I did play it today. I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I didn't play a week of it, so I don't know if that uh, will maintain or hold up, but for now, for sure, I uh, I liked it more than I expected. Ugh, more freeze. So now I can go Abyssal. Uh, that's only three, and the juggler died. Uh, I could kill off my own minion here to draw, but let's look for... Bartender first. Okay, that's half of the puzzle. Uh, I can't draw, though. Uh, this can't go face. I can't kill a minion cheaply enough here to play Soulfire, right? Because uh, this would need to hit face still for the Soulfire to be lethal. I don't think I have any sneaky outs, right? In other words, I think this is the standard play here. Next turn, if they clear this board, I'm like kind of guaranteed to draw Soulfire almost. As long as I have enough hand space, I have a really good chance to draw Soulfire. Although, it's not actually guaranteed for the record. I could draw four cards and burn the Soulfire because I only have three spots in hand. Maybe I needed to play Flame and Power Overwhelming. I was nervous about taking the damage, but maybe I just have to guarantee the Soul Fire. I, don't, I think 20 would have been safe. Yeah, that's probably better to just play Flame and Power Overwhelming in that case. Just dump two cards instead of one. I think that was the only way to dump two, right? That just feels so bad. I didn't really want to. <laughs> but it might have been right to, to guarantee the Soul Fire. That may have been the... Uh, Oh, true, I do have Infernal as well. Oh, yeah, 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 that's better. Yeah, that's that's fine, you're right. I don't even need Soulfire. Yeah, 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 forgot about this guy. Good call. Not relevant, then. I will almost certainly be able to take three. I feel pretty confident about that. Do they have the draw on this? Uh, may you speak on how decent, bad the monetization aspect of Mercs is. I didn't really get into that today. I just played PvP. I wouldn't be able to speak to yet anyway, but uh, just from what we've seen on like the leaks and data mining and stuff, it seems like it's not going to be as bad as people were, were expecting. I, you know, I think it's going to feel like Hearthstone monetization, which you know, some people are cool with that, some people aren't. I don't think it's going to feel like like uh, like raid style monetization or whatever there's no like energy locks i think it's it's gonna feel cheaper than other games of that variety i'm pretty sure but i don't know wait and see right just i i can't speak to that i just didn't get a look at that stuff but uh hey Helmonds! wow thanks yeah thanks for the kindnesses man that's really nice <laughs> says a lot even though everything said yeah i just i think it'll I, I said this last week and i maintain the same uh perspective i think mercenaries will be if, if you've already played raid or marvel strike force or fire emblem heroes i think mercenaries will feel cheap to you i think it'll be noticeably less cheap than those other games in that genre 
if you haven't played those games, Mercenaries might still seem expensive to you, right? It might still seem kind of grindy. Uh, so I, it's probably a somewhere happy middle. But I think Hearthstone is already in that same space. Like Hearthstone already feels kind of expensive, right? It's an expensive game. So I don't think Mercenaries will feel out of line with the normal Hearthstone experience at all. So we got a decision here. Unlock potential seems really bad. I have like Midway Maniac and that's it. Uh, it's actually worse for a vast majority of my minions. It's like they saw the Midway Maniac and were like, ooh, we can give him a 5-5. Five five. <laughs> give your deck negative eight attack. Uh, Eerie Stone, we don't really have a lot of shadow spells, right? We have a few but almost none of them go face. Uh, or not even face, like hit minions. It's literally like spell stone and that's it. That seems really bad. I actually think we're going to take all together now. It hits Minari Mosher, Demonizer, Fire Breather, Hooked Reaver, uh, Bartender, Abyssal. It's just, you know, it's a decent discount on a handful of our minions. It doesn't hit our one drops, of course. But hits quite a bit of our mid-game minions, making them a, a, a mana cheaper. So not what we were looking for, but it, it works. It works. I wanted fell stuff, but it works. Uh, this is weird. I don't want those. These are technically two battle cries. But I really don't need card draw. We get all that off our demons. Uh, I think I just take this package. It's some removal. It's removal. It's a threat. I mean, Flesh Giant's really good for us because we take a ton of damage. Uh, a lot of it will be on our opponent's turns, but I can trade in demons, you know, uh, at key moments to get like a cheap Flesh Giant. So yeah, this should be fine. If I'd known we were going to get all shell serve, we maybe should have put Flesh Giant in our deck. Very, uh... Use power overwhelming on your guys to return them to hand. I gotta be honest, I don't know what you mean. Hey, Cerebral Distortion, thanks, man. Power overwhelming on your guys to return them to hand? Oh, with Eerie Stone. Oh, 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 I thought you just meant in our current deck. Oh, sure. You could do that, I guess, yeah. That's... I think that would count. Actually, I'm not 100% sure it would. Does does giving a minion a buff that kills it count as the spell killing it or not? There's there's kind of a gap there. Do you know what I mean? Like there's uh there's technically a gap between those actions. I suppose like Soulfire where the spell immediately directly kills a, a minion. Power overwhelming applies in a an enchantment that kills the minion. It might count because the enchantment comes directly from Power Overwhelming, but but it may not too. I could actually, I could maybe see it as the enchantment that comes from the spell. I don't know where that line is drawn. Could see both ways. Uh, okay, good curve. Warrior unfortunately is really good at reacting to minion boards, so I don't feel like we're gonna be in a good spot here. I might should try to ride the hero power on this one a little more. Uh, just to make sure that I can kind of grind them down with bigger stats as opposed to trying to play like hyper fast. If that makes sense. Because like if I keep small minions, they're just going to keep trading into them. I, I think I'm going to try to ride the button. For whatever that's worth. I think we're going to be in trouble though, to be honest. I, I think we're in a bit of a pickle here. Oh my god. Well, if it's ever going to stick, now's the time, I guess. I think a 3-drop could still kill this sometimes, though, with a button. Oh, it's not going to be able to value trade, though, so it's not like you can attack twice, usually. That's good news, at least. All right. Wow, this actually connects? Okay. I'm just going to try to get button value, right? Like, make sure the button is, is stacking up is the goal here. As opposed to like going wide super early, I just want to make sure we get stats. One man is actually pretty efficient for this, I think, in some ways. Not 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 really, <laughs> you know, not exactly, but 
Oh, are they gonna have to tank nine? Oh man. They're low. I just need to stick a couple more things here. We got a shot on this. Oh. <laughs> do, do we believe, guys? Oh, <laughs> uh, I think we hold this, right? I think we hold this, actually. Uh Okay. Let's uh Ah oh, man, I really want to button every turn, I think. Maybe this is a good turn not to button, actually. It's perfectly Just because we set up this trade, right? May not may not connect because of hero power, but you never know. Might might create some awkwardness. So on six, we got this going. Oh, what did I just click through? Whoops. What was that? I don't know what that was. Just coin? Oh, coin. Cultist. Okay, that math still actually stays sort of okay for us. Kind of depends on what this hits, right? He could hit this button to force it into here. Oh, he's going to go that route. Okay. He's at nine, actually. And he... Huh, okay. We're getting him low, dude. I may just go juggler right now to get some, some free damage through, right? Like, this may be too greedy. Because uh, there might be stuff on board later, right? So let's go juggler into demonizer. And maybe we'll get a zero mana demonizer play. For an extra ping. Oh, two of them, in fact. Let's go. Okay, so now we're finding actual breakpoints soon. Uh, like, you know, we have soul fire outs and stuff now. And we're going to be drawing a lot of cards as well. And we have Minari for damage if it sticks. Shadow Bolt can push face. Power of Woman can push face. Like, we have a lot of damage here. Fargo guards a heal, but will it be enough? He's probably going to hit the juggler, right? Oh, he does get some pings here. Those could matter. Oh, not bad, actually. That was a good snipe, though. Uh, but I think I'll still be fine, it looks like. Yeah. Maybe at nine, though? Oh, no. Yo, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. We have nine. No problem. Let's go, dude. Cool. Kind of a crazy win, actually. Man, this thing's like not bad. It's kind of a good little zoo deck, isn't it, man? I think I think the button really mattered. I, I maybe I'm just hindsight bias in there a little bit, but I feel like getting the stats on that first minion to be significant were really important because uh, again, I wanted to deny him uh, hero power value, right? Like he, you know, if we keep smaller minions, he can hero power stuff down too easily. Long time YouTube watcher, first time stream it's indie. How well do all the Hearthstone YouTubers know each other? How many have you met in person? Uh, I, I don't know, there's varying degrees of knowing people. I've met, you know, all the most famous ones in person. Um, like Crip and Trump and Kibler and whoever else, right? Uh, I don't actively speak to most people like you know we don't have like threads going i talked to dexter and solemn some and uh lately i've been talking to raren a lot because he's edited a couple videos for me you know raren uh it just depends like i'm friendly with everybody but you know not a lot of regular conversations happening who is the shortest the shortest is definitely dexter he's like 4 11 Maybe 410. Um, Toast, I don't ever talk to, but I've, I've actually talked to Toast for many hours a couple times at events, like literally for four hours, but not any sense. <laughs> so we got to know each other well, but definitely don't keep up. He's a, he's a busy, famous guy. Anyway, I like Canopic Jars, I think, actually. We have a lot of good wide boards. This could be just a playoff fiend to circle late to like steal a game. Both of these are pretty interesting. They're all kind of neat cards, but I like how synergistic this one is with us. Because we do have some wide board plays. Might be a little greedy in a way. Like, Nomish Army Knife's actually quite a bit of potential damage with, like, a Hooked Reaver or something, right? Like, this could be 14 burst on Hooked Reaver. Bless Giant. Oh, that's sort of tempting, isn't it? Oh, boy. Because it's like these minions are actually cheap enough to make that a reasonable play. How tall am I? I'm about 6'3". I think that's like 191, 192 centimeters maybe? I forget. 
Something like that. Uh, I say six two and three quarters, but the doctor said six three, so I'll take it. Six three sounds taller than six two to me for, for some reason, rather substantially. Uh, I'm gonna take the jars just because I think it's fun. I don't know. I actually think army knife's probably a little bit better for the record, but I really think jars is fun. These aren't bad. I don't really need the Twisting Nether, though, I don't think. We're going to be trying to play from ahead a lot. Like, I like having backup plans like Twisting Nether, but I just don't want to draw it early. We need to make sure we hit our one drops and stuff. I think I'm going to go norm no more, please. Usually you want your treasure density to be really high. Uh, Can you see the top of the refrigerator? Yeah. I guess. I mean... Yeah, I can. Yeah, I look at the top of the refrigerator. Yeah. I've had some showers in my life that were too short for me. I'm, I'm like, not a tall person, but I'm tall-ish. You know, I'm in that, that bracket of, like, you don't look at me and go, oh, he's really tall. But you go, oh, he's, he's tall. Like, oh, yeah, Regis is kind of tall. But you don't go, oh, he's tall. <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a range there. I think it's like 6'5", where you really start saying, like, oh, he's tall. Depending on where you're from and and so on. Uh, Fire Breather against Paladin. I kind of don't hate it. I think it's good against Divine Shields. Might have some cleanup and stuff. My faith is my shield. <laughs> yeah, my wife is only five feet tall as well, so... We have quite a difference. Oh man, this is a high tempo dude. May not have a weapon early though. This one I don't think we need to rely on hero power as much, right? I think uh, we'll be able to kind of leverage face pressure more. So just go. Whereas last game, you know, we were trying to stabilize our board a little more. Divine shields do make that a bit of a threat to be fair. Like divine shields can trade down pretty effectively, but hopefully we'll be all right. Secrets are scary. Noble Sack's really good here. Um, what else is really good here? I don't know. A lot of good stuff. Noble Sack's really good here. Nice. Good buff hits. I feel like 3-4 Voidwalkers are so good. Uh, awkward hand at the moment, right? Like, kind of just all over the place. I might need a Canopic Charge to blow this game open. That might be the move. Oh, God. Already on the sword? Seriously? Oh, that's game over. I can't. Wow, I called that. I can't. I, it's already game over, though. Like, that was so cheap. Three mana for sword. And he has Pillage the Fallen, too, right? So as soon as he gets through it, I, I just got another one coming right back. Uh, I mean, that's just game over. I can't. I can't beat that. Sword is still so good. Uh, oh, true. This Oh, it's not his only minion. He has Noble Sack, so he's going to have like a 50-50 when I kill this to get a Lich King back. How brutal is that? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Dude, Emerald Goggles is so broken. Oh, jeez. This isn't even close. There's zero chance I win this, right? Like, actually zero. Uh, I'm, I'm just dead right now, aren't I? It doesn't. <laughs> it, it was actually better to try to high roll something off that because I was dead on board anyway, right? It didn't matter. Uh, okay, GG, man. You win. Even killing the Lich King, he still had 17 damage. Like, what am I supposed to do? Uh. If Tyrion didn't have Divine Shield, like, I could arguably. Um, oh my god. He did get Skull. That's kind of a low roll. Tyrion was still going to override that, though, at some point. Uh, if Tyrion didn't have shield, like, I could have maybe power overwhelming that and, like, you know, done something. But that shield kills you. Uh... Should have played around the weapon into Lich King SMH. <laughs> yeah, play around it. 35 months, Dinosaur, dude. Thank you, Mr. British. Appreciate it, dude. 
Uh, thank you for the big 35 months. And what do I take here? Surly mob? Uh, I don't really like my apocalypse. We have so many cards. I don't need the ramp. Supercharge seems not worth it. I mean, honestly, supercharge is like more intriguing than normal because I just have so much natural card draw built into my deck. It's actually more intriguing than I would normally say. But Surly Mob's good with card draw too because I get the shuffled ones back sooner. Are you getting so, access to Mercs before release? Both are kind of the same. Uh, the guy bides, yes, I already did. Yeah, I played it today, in fact, and I'll be playing it more tomorrow and the next day. I can't stream, but I'm recording content. So we'll have some Merc stuff ready uh, on Tuesday. Why did I not see you on the Twitch Panama Papers leak? Uh, I'm on there. You just didn't scroll down far enough. <laughs> You probably thought I was higher than I was. <laughs> you got to scroll way down there to find me, man. Um, you were probably looking at the top 10, top 20 there. Keep scrolling way down. Go go down as far as you think I am and then go down <laughs> three times more. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll take Mob. I, I think it's like the safe bet. Supercharge is kind of sneaky. I sort of like it, but... Uh... Maybe a little too sneaky. Oh, dude, Nero would be so sweet for us. Oh, I'm going to do it. I don't even care. I know our decks keep getting bigger and bigger and like never, it's never going to happen, but I can technically draw so many cards and this gives me the payoff for drawing so many cards that I just don't even care. I, we're going to lose this game anyway. It's going to be the end of the run, so we might as well enjoy our last game, right? Mercenaries drops on Tuesday. I think, right? The 12th? Yeah, the 12th is Tuesday. That's the schedule anyway. Should should drop on Tuesday. I guess we never know anything for sure, but... That's the plan, at least. Bum, 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 bum. I just realized I only have 279 viewers. That's... Shockingly low. I think it's because I'm streaming later in the day. It's fine. It doesn't really matter to me. I, I'm just playing for YouTube anyway, but it is weirdly low. Is that is somebody else online that's taking viewers that doesn't normally Trump on or something? It is strangely low for me. Did I DC or something? Lose some viewers? Kipler's on. I think everybody's just low. I don't think anybody's watching. <laughs> just nobody's watching our stone. That's the problem. Okay. I see. <laughs> it's not just me. <sighs> that makes sense. Uh, we don't keep Nero. Uh, like, I literally just got all the cards I picked. Man. He's for later. Librarian early is good. I'm going to have trouble staying alive here hard, though. It's going to be almost impossible to stay alive. Yeah, I actually plan on playing some... Uh, but yeah, he some battlefield uh, with my friends this weekend. I really want to play. I don't think that's something I'll make videos for, of course, but I'm just so bad at FPS, I've decided. I don't think I can in good conscience make uh, make content for, <laughs> for FPSs. Did I not hit... I just realized, did I not hit any battle cries last game? I mean, not that it mattered much, really, I guess, because my opponent just hit the absolute nuts on that weapon, but I feel like I didn't actually play any cheap battle cries. Uh, well, duels actually hasn't been hurting viewership later, but or lately, but definitely the later in the day thing will hurt viewership. There's no question about that. That always has a downside. Uh, yeah, actually, Asteria for emergencies might be pretty good. I take extra damage with socks, but this is a good board clear in emergencies. I'll have plenty of card draw, I suspect. Like, this is a ton of draw. Gonna need some healing this game, so uh, this guy's maybe clutch. Canopic jars might be good soon. Oh, this weapon's so brutal. Don't hit my dude. Maybe do hit my dude. I might need the. <laughs> might need the life. I don't know. I say that. Uh, take it back. Never be afraid of your inner power.
think I have to go Demonic Assault. I kind of don't love it. I, I think I'm going to ignore the minion. Uh, that that's punishable, yes, but just not clean, you know. I I, I just want cleaner hits. <laughs> I don't think it's too punishable, as we saw with it. Oh, I got punished immediately. <laughs> off the top, immediately. I don't know if that was off the top. Immediately punished, just like that. Oh, this could be a low roll. Why not trade first? That really bailed me out, actually. That was kind of nice. Oh, man, I really need Juggler into uh, Fiends right now, but I don't have it. Juggler Flame Imp kind of sucks. Man, what a garbage turn. I can't really save this for like eight mana, right? That's too much. How are my turns so bad? I went from having like really, really good, clean early game turns, so I feel like having really, really bad turns. I just don't know. Is this really the best play? Like Hysteria, a 1 3? It's just not good enough. <laughs> like, it's just so boring. That can't be an exciting play. Ugh. I don't develop any counter tempo. I mean, I guess the sets up for Juggler Fiendish is the is the good thing. But I'm down to 20. Juggler Fiendish puts some ridiculous amount more on board. But if he doesn't answer it, I have insane Canopic Jars. Right? That's the good. That's the upside. But I'll be dead off all these imps dying. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> But this would be a good time to trade in the imps if I get Canopic Jars and then also activate my Flesh Giant. Oh my god. Okay. Cool, bro. Just casually draw your entire deck. Oh, burn all your treasures. No big deal. We didn't need those anyway, huh? Okay, screw it. I'm playing for Minari now. I just gotta hope this lives right and play for Minari. So, um, oh, that's actually fine. Yeah, I can Minari the crap out of that. Yeah. Do I go Flame Imp here to Philosophy the Minari? So Flame Imp, Philosophy hits Minari. I think so, because I need more healing, right? That still lets me play a Surly Mob as well. So I could try to hit the high roll on the Surly Mob too. Um... Let's take the 50-50 here, right? It's fine if it misses. We can still just clear the Earth Ellie. Heal a bunch, but... We hit the high roll. You know. We get to keep a dude alive, which is pretty cool. Okay. So that was a pretty big swing turn, actually. Uh, I got another Minari in hand, too, so I have more healing. That's nice. It's only a 3-drop. Wow, that's not bad. Flesh Giant's getting pretty cheap, too. Oh my. I think I go Minari Canopic, right? Three minions is not bad. Heal some more, start to stabilize some. Get a really nice, nasty board. He already played, um... He already played uh, Wand of Destruction, right? Or Disintegration, so this might actually stick. He may not have silences for these. I'm sure he'll have a clutch devolving missiles off the top or something, but theoretically, right? Canopic Jars here is pretty good. Wind Fury. If I am dead, I swear to God. No, I'm not dead. Okay. <laughs> it's 11. Uh, does he decide to go face? Can I punish that at all? I can Spellstone again to heal. Oh, wait, wait, was that legit just... Ba Did he just draw that, I guess? Because it's just Bandersmush. <laughs> why, why is it just Bandersmush, bro? Um, okay. Uh, I don't have lethal, right? I have nine, so I need eight. I don't see any way to get eight, right? 
This could hit me a shady bartender, but that only does six. So that wouldn't do it. I mean, it kind of depends on what legendaries I get if I want to just trade. Yeah, maybe we'll just trade to get our legendaries. I don't... Uh... I, there's some fancy plays here with Flame Imp and Shadow Blast and Spellstone, but I don't think I need to get fancy. Let's just trade and see what we roll. Because the legendaries on board could be pretty nuts. That's not pretty nuts, unfortunately. I might still hit one Spellstone here so I don't die. Let's just go all in, right? I mean, it's one card. What could it do? <laughs> Famous last words. It's not really all in. I still have plenty of resources in hand. I'm actually getting close to Nero now, too, which is cool. Uh, okay, so we got a Harrison and a Temperus. Oh, there was the Devolving Missiles off the top, but it was just a turn late. That's funny. Okay. Cool, thanks for the bonus damage, bro. Cool, we got another win out of this deck. I'm actually stunned how this is still finding wins. I thought it kind of sucked. The user wanted a disintegration of hair early, which is, is nice that we were able to force that out. Whoa, that was a weird screen. What was that? Whoa. Uh, This is actually not a bad bucket for us. I also don't hate this. Uh, this is a little bit more like defensive in nature, right? Like a little bit more board clear. We also have really good dark skies, theoretically, because we can get full hands pretty reliably. Uh, Jumbo Imp. I mean, we do have a lot of cheap demons. Implosion, again, supports some of our stuff. Uh, this is close. I'm actually kind of tempted by both of these. Um... Deck may suck, but you are a skilled player. Like, hold up, let me let me PayPal you your five dollars. <laughs> I know I, I know you didn't say that out of the kindness of your heart, so you must need five dollars. That's the only explanation. Let me pay you for that. Uh I don't know. I, I actually, yeah, I, th I think Neo Neonic Rhythm there in chat's got it. I, I think this is a little bit safer. I think we're, we're generating enough threats now. Like, we're drawing enough and generating enough threats. I think having a little bit more defensive utility is important. And honestly, if I stretch games out enough, like, Nero can, like, win them anyway. So just a little bit of recovery seems, seems imp important to have. Not to mention we still actually got some damage with Dark Bomb. So direct damage can be important, too. Willow versus Torelli. Paladin, as we know, is scary. This isn't the same guy we played earlier, is it? Oh my god, he murdered me. Maybe I actually keep a brittle bone here just to have some form of removal against a big early threat, since we know Paladin's very capable of generating big early threats, as we saw. It might be a little hard to activate if I can't trade in a demon, but... Uh... Oh, cool, they're just going to have all the threats. This is the same combo we went to 12 with the other day. It's kind of spooky. I need a turn two. Somehow we missed a turn two. This guy's going to be nuts on three, though, if I get here. Turn two. No turn two. Wow. Don't hit this. Nice. I guess I trade this. I don't know. Like, I like my demons dying, right? So. Because I draw cards. I mean, I guess it means I can't activate this reliably, but I'm almost always playing this anyway, right? We go fire breather here just to clear. Cariel's a threat. Two four threes, but this doesn't really answer that. I think we'll stick to this guy for now. Might be able to build out a board that plays into the bartender on four, right? So. Oh yeah. Let's go. 
Do I wait to corrupt this or just play it now to make his turns more awkward? I think I play it now to make the turn more awkward. Because I have a really good bartender follow-up if a couple of these stick, right? So this taunt just being disruptive very much increases the likelihood that my other cards are able to stick successfully. And then I have a crazy bartender follow-up, right? Okay, that is a very weak turn. Wow. Like, giga weak. <laughs> um... I definitely still bartender this, right? It's not a bad fire breather, but... I can just hit face for a lot already. And it's just so much board already. Like, sadly, yes, the... The little dude there is disruptive, but... Alright, I mean, he's gonna need a board clear here. Like, Barov, equality type stuff to, to start dealing with this. Coin Goody just does not seem good enough, right? So I can go here to whack away at that stuff. I think this is probably just a lethal, right? Didn't actually check it, but it feels lethally. Yep. Cool. Wow. Okay. All together now is pretty dang clutch, I gotta say. Getting the dude down a turn early, and Demonizer was just OP. Obviously, that was insane. Uh, so the seeds is actually really nuts for us, I think, because we draw so many cards, right? Like, we're, we're gonna net the benefits on that pretty quickly. I actually like it a lot. You lost two damage, but yeah, still lethal. I did? How'd I lose two damage? Oh, pinging the minion instead of buffing my dude. Could have hit for four instead of two. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Thankfully. I guess I should have counted first before trying. Uh, I like Sow the Seeds, right? It's just we have so much draw. I think we have enough minions to make it worth it. Yeah. Another Shirley Mob probably doesn't go that far. But it's fine. I like Shirley Mob, okay. Wow, the exact same set of dudes again. Now nah, I like this better. More demon play. Uh, these also do have a battle cry, which is nice. Uh, this guy's not bad. He doesn't have a battle cry, but I think I like this better. The demon fires turned out to be pretty good, I think. Shockingly. How did this become a five win deck? I, I thought this was going to be hot garbage. Particularly on that second treasure offer. I was really disappointed with altogether now. I still don't think it's amazing, but it worked out pretty well that game. Demonizer was probably the more important aspect. Demonizer is in that class where it feels too good to me, just like uh, Payload Totem Specialist. They both feel so insane. It's just, a, it, like, especially if you have, like, uh, double battle cries, they just go bonkers. You can just build this giant board on, like, turn three or whatever. It's wild. I didn't want my inner conflict to manifest this way. Wait. Doesn't she normally say that, like, in a mirror match? The inner conflict thing? Wasn't that a weird voice line to say... ...against Turalyon? I thought she said that when she was facing another warlock. I, I don't know. Because <laughs> it's all about, like, I'm facing myself, that's my inner conflict, but that's Turalyon. She says it all the time now. Oh, okay, is it bugged? That's weird. Seems like a strange bug to pop up. Oh, I'm dead. Way too much tempo here. Double mage secret and... Oh my god, I don't even hit a buff. You're kidding me. Oh, oh I'm so dead. Double mage secret and emerald goggles. It's just going to be an ungodly amount of tempo. The light dims. Oh boy. Okay, how do we pull this back? How do we pull this back? He hasn't really used the goggles yet. Maybe he doesn't have that good of a hand for it. Maybe I can get ahead enough that it won't matter. Maybe he's got like, you know, a Ragnaros stuck there or something, right? It's gonna take him a minute to realize the benefit. All right, could have Oasis ally here. Uh, Noble Sack. Uh... We haven't tested Counterspell yet, so that's another thought. 
Avenge, don't hit this, please. Oh, crap. How is this still not hitting anything? I mean, this, this, how is this button not hitting anything? It's mind boggling. <sighs> I needed this to not hit because I needed Shadow Bolt. Shadow Blast. I don't know. I think I'm just dead. Mana Bind's totally fine, thankfully. I need to like play for this, right? Uh, which means I need to be able to trade in one of my demons on my turn. Maybe that happens if he um, hits face with this. I don't know. Okay. Looks like I can trade in my demon. That's good. Brittle Bone... Plus sow the seed. Well, actually, oh yeah, this always activates, yeah. So sow the seed, brittle bone. Oh, I could also go kobold brittle bone, but let's get the sow the seeds in now. Um, yeah, I guess I hit the 6-5. I mean, this is not a great turn. I, like, almost need to save this brittle bone for whatever comes off that tail in or, you know, whatever's up next in the emerald. But I just... I think I have to do this. I just need to stay ahead here. Or stay even here, even. My god, not ahead. All my minions are going to be buffed now, which helps. Maybe I can help stabilize. It's probably still... Oh, my god. These three mana great swords, dude. It's so insane. It's so busted. Oh, that is a very weak legendary, though, thankfully. Okay, that actually helps a lot. Uh... Okay. Still not in a great spot, but like, oh. Oh, interesting. Sadly, I can't really add any additional damage to the board. This is only going to deal not enough. Talon usually lives here, but maybe that's fine, actually. As long as I kill the two one health things, I think I'm chill, and then I can just start reloading with Kobold. I actually killed the Talon instead of the Samuro. Okay, well, that's not as good maybe, but it's fine. Um, let's hit a demon maybe to buff. I cannot hit a demon. It's turn five, and I haven't played a demon from hand yet. How is this happening? I've wasted three buttons, I think. That's very distressing. Bro! Come on! Oh, I did play the Voidwalker, that's true. One one demon, excuse me. I played one demon. I'm dead though. Like this actually, he had a knife juggler to pay this off. It's so insane. I'm very insane. Blood Moon obviously doesn't do it here. Fire Breather's actually, like, one of my best possible draws. Is this enough to stay in this? Shadow Bolt on the Valen? I mean, the Varian? Not Valen. What, <laughs> what am I playing? Oh, these are demons. Oh, it's not good enough still. It's actually still not good And I took an extra damage for no reason, too. Could have done that in the other order, obviously. Uh, I'm just dead now. These are still demons. I actually would have been alive if I did that in the other order. Ugh. Oh, I'm super dead anyway. Okay, cool. Man, these Emerald Goggles, uh, Greatsword decks are just so good. I don't know how to beat that. I don't know how to- oh, man. It's just gonna get worse. Can't, this, this Paladin Sword is so good as we saw from our last run light. It totally carried that board deck I had, you know, like it, it's a garbage board deck carried by the carried by the weapon. Uh, I was still happy with that run though, to be honest. Like that was pretty good uh, for what I thought was not the ideal set of treasures. We actually built built that for fell treasures. 
Um, that was our goal. I want to try that again someday with fell treasures. Uh, man, I like want to play more duels, but I also said I'd play wild. Uh, I'm going to take a vote. Uh, what you guys want to see. Duels or wild? Mercenaries. Well, I don't want to go to jail, so no mercenaries. Duels or wild? View the results. Boys, it's not even like close. Oh my shot. god, you poor wild fools. <laughs> what? What? Only, uh, what? Only 25% are voting for wild? The saddest thing I've ever seen. 80% duels. Unbelievable. 82%. I've never been this sad in my life. Thank God no Sam's not here. He's the wild guy. Always, always asking for wild. He might be here, but I don't see him anyway. Well, I think I don't think the vote's going to flip. Okay, duels it is. I still want to do some wild. I actually need to, but, but whatever. But you said you wanted to play duels, so maybe chat is nice. Maybe it is chat being nice. Yeah, that would be a good explanation, huh? Chat's being chill. Uh, we could try that again with fell spells. Uh, one thing out on my list for Hunter was, like, quest death rattle stuff. We could definitely try that. Maybe we'll do Hunter since we just did Warlock. I haven't done Hunter in a while. Uh, so I wanted to do this one, but with the quest where we make this zero mana. Like shenanigany. Uh, so we do death rattle quest, combining the two. So defend the dwarven district. So we need spells that deal damage for the quest, but we also want some key death rattle minions as well. So sort of a mix of the two. I think very much early in the run, I want to just be able to go face as well. So just like a lot of face damage to carry my uh, early game. Early run, right? Like we just want to be able to hit people really hard and kill them. I think will be the main goal early on. Could even take an explosive trap. It's not bad. Good against AoE. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a lot of nice damage. Aim shot actually is kind of bad for us, I guess. Our hero power doesn't deal damage so we don't want that uh yeah this looks like a good damage package though so then i also need death rattles so i want in particular i think death rattles that uh well i mean the normal like uh egg style death rattles are, are fine we could definitely work with those but i also want stuff that's like kind of uh sneaky for later like dark moon tonk when i can like refresh my hero power multiple times you know can basically turn into uh, a damage output sort of card like a combo card of sorts right so we could also do like do we have augmented porcupine no we don't have porcupine do we because it's uh outland well scratch that plan uh so other good death battles i guess are the next plan uh maybe leper gnomes i guess are a good death rattle to bounce off of yeah yeah leper gnomes a good idea Do, do, do. Why quest when your hero power already targets minions? Because I, I want to make it zero mana and refreshable, right? Uh, <laughs> you frame that as if there's only one part of the quest, right? 
I, uh, <laughs> you're making me doubt myself. I, I think it still becomes fully refreshable um, and zero mana. So I can use the death rattle thing multiple times. How does it upgrade? It, it doesn't upgrade. Do we need to recap Hunter Quest, I guess? This is a... Uh... So step one, you hear power can target minions, right? Okay, cool. That's fine. We don't really care about that one so much, but it's cool. What we really care about is setting the cost of our hero power to zero. That's awesome so that we can get really cheap death rattle activations. And then more importantly, once we get Tavish, spells refresh our hero power. So we can uh, cast a spell and activate death rattles again for zero mana. It's not like the the paladin hero power it upgrades it. it. It makes it cost zero and gets it refreshable. So, so actually, even the first step targeting is good for us. I, I think this will work as well. Now this hero power is random. I assume it becomes targetable, so that's good, but it's really the zero mana and the refresh that I care most about. A lot of confusion there I wasn't expecting. I'm happy to cover it. It's fine. Just surprise me. I was not expecting so much confusion. I think maybe another good spell here would go a long way. Uh, if it deals damage, that's probably a bonus. Maybe like an Overwhelm. Something that deals damage, but also gives me potential refreshes later. Could do a Lock and Load, I guess. Uh, do we have Lock and Load? Where's Lock and Load? What's it cost one mana now? What's Lock and Load cost? Do we think Lock and Load's worth it? It doesn't always give you spells back, it's my biggest concern. I think it's okay. What happens when you tie in duels? I don't know. I'm sure it's whatever it is in arena. The same thing happens. I don't remember. I think you just get no win and no loss, if I remember right. But it's been a long time since I thought about that. All right. I can live with this. I think we have enough death rattles to be relevant and then enough spells for quests, right? We're kind of hedged across and more importantly i think we have a ton of burst damage for the first couple games like the first three games i'm not even gonna think about hero powering much unless it's like tonk or leopardome for lethals I mean, i guess if i get an egg and it lines up or whatever sure but uh the first few games i'm mostly gonna be thinking about going face like i wonder if i even keep quest in the first few games because it doesn't feel like i'm gonna have time to complete it as is often the case on game one or two you just don't have a lot of time to finish quest. Could probably just go for damage and burst my opponent down. The downside is, is with this hero power, I don't actually have uh, infinite reach, right? What is going on here? So it, it may not be that easy actually to get to 20. Let's think, explosive for two, kill command actually, kind of hard to activate. So maybe let's just say three is five. Piercing shot, let's say, for four, just randomly, is nine. Uh, quick shot for three is 12. Wound prey is 13. Yeah, I don't really have enough just to straight up go. Oh, arcane shot. It's really close, actually. I didn't realize you were interested in research. What do you guys think? I don't think I keep quest. I think I keep anything that goes phase. I think I'm actually going to wait till Lepernome on three, though, so that I just have a guarantee, because I, I think even this extra two damage might go a long way. Okay. <laughs> dentist plays. <laughs> Duels game one always turns you into a dentist, dude. It really does. I, I think it's right, too. I think you just... It's like trying to get your quest just takes too long, I think. I think you just did us it out, man. Do I even hold this for... No, I definitely do this, right? It's a lot of damage. I am drawing death battles here, though, so... I may not get there in the first, like, hump, you know? It may take a minute. Uh, We'll see. Could save this for like a Death Strider payoff as well, though, is the other thing. 
Okay, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I still think Arcane Shot of One is correct, by the way. I don't have any hesitations about that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was right. I'm just thinking about how to get the right amount of damage done. I think I need to use a Lepernome as sort of an OTK like combo almost, where I play like Death Strider and Button on it on the same turn to ensure that I get enough damage, right? Is he gonna leave this 5-5 five five out? Maybe a Brain Freeze here? Probably wanna hit another step of the quest before Brain Freeze though, right? So you don't lose both Frost. Interesting, okay. Works for me. Um. Do I piercing shot this? <laughs> this game is ridiculous, dude. I don't want them to have minions to target, right? And it's it's not doing me any good in Frozen. This is a wacky Hearthstone game. To say the least. Now, this guy actually is really scary. I kind of regret this now. Uh... Could get like an arcane missiles. What could he get? Uh. Oh crap! On the hunt, so bad. I needed like kill command, right? Or or another death rattle, maybe to buy a turn. Or just death strider would be nice already. Yeah, death strider actually would have been the clutch draw here. Uh, I guess we stick to the plan. I don't know. They're functionally at seven. If they have proc this explosive trap, they're functionally at five. So this could be the beast for the kill command. Could hit a wound prey for some extra damage. I don't know. I'm in trouble. Maybe they don't want to kill the leper gnome, and then I get to no, they never do that because I'd button again. I don't know. I think this guy's the real problem though. Oh, that's kind of slow. Is he leaving the leper gnome alive? Do you trade on the leper gnome here? if he proxies the explosive trap and leaves the leopard alive, I'm like definitely gonna get there, right? Oh, that's totally fine. I can still, wait, freeze it and kill it. Oh, just proc the quest, okay. Oh, dude. Bad timing on the Death Strider. Well, that sucks. If I'd known I was gonna get that, I would've held the leopard gnome last turn. This hand just keeps going one card wrong. <sighs> one card off every time I don't know if I'll get there now I need like exactly kill command now uh, I can on the hunt this that it won't damage me uh, from the from the explosive trap but if I do oh no I'd still have a beast from beat from death strider for kill command so that would be okay the challenge is, I think Kill Command's my only out next turn, right? Nothing else gets me out of the mess because of fireballs. Because <sighs> two fireballs are guaranteed to win. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just dead. Unless I hit Kill Command. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a one in seven. So I would expect Fireball attack, but he doesn't have lethal off ping, so he's gonna have to figure something else out. He trades again to play around explosive trap. Okay, I like it, smart. Uh, Kill Command's not lethal for me now, so that was pretty heads up, uh, and I'm just dead to Fireball. Not much I can do now. Uh, is, no, there's no Wound Prey, Kill Command, I don't have two cards to draw. I can't activate here, so yeah, GG. Yeah, man, I feel like any other sequence of card draws we would have got this game. It was just like everything came one turn late, basically. It's like, it was, you know, it was one turn off the whole game. Like, Death Rider came a turn late. I think I whiffed on a Death Rattle and I had to play the Leper Gnome with a quick shot. Like, Dark Moon Tonk was stuck in hand the whole game. It just felt, felt wrong the whole time. Oh. Oh! Yes! 100%. Amazing. Uh, ooh, I kind of like this more than this. 
This is actually a pretty decent death rattle for like little bits of bonus damage, which we like, right? The Hounds is good reactivity. Kill command's pretty sick. Good spells for our quest. I like this actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, hey, Shafainsley, dude. Thanks for the six months, man. Rogue. Okay, this will be fun. Are you trying to ruin my Rogue, we might have to be a little more board centric. I guess the question is, do we want to hold defend or just play for like egg here? Pretty good egg line. I think we could maybe keep uh, defend and shot along with egg, kind of go mix and match here. I don't know if game two we should still be keeping quest or not. Ooh, that's a good draw for coin, baby. Screw the quest on one. We're going to go egg on one. Hopefully it lives. I think it has a very high likelihood to live. So we may not even play quest. Yeah, see, like, this is a game again where I may not need to quest until turn four. Uh... Because I may play this on three, button, and quest on four. Maybe with like an arcane shot, for instance. Does this live? Oh, it's got rush. It doesn't live. Oh, that's sad. Man, it still must kind of feel bad to be the opponent, though, where it's like... You have to summon the 4-4, four four, right? <laughs> it's just a really tough position to be in. It's like, ah, man, I had to summon the dude, the... The 4-4. The four four. So now we'll go quest, arcane shot, right? We don't need to button, so... Solve that problem. I think I'm happy to connect face with this. We have a little bit of reactivity in hand for minions still. So egg on three, uh, maybe button on four if it sticks, although it seems unlikely to with the rush hero power and he's trading in. Hey, Tingus, oh my God, dude, what's up? 51 months for Tingus. Wait, why is my mic not picking up? What the heck? You guys hear me? Hello? Am I muted? Or is my meter just bugged? Uh, yeah, we can hear you. Oh, okay, my meter's just bugged. Oh, okay, it was showing no audio going through. I was freaking out, man. <laughs> it shows nothing. All right, I thought I, I thought I bumped a cable with my foot. Honestly, I was like, not again, not again, not this again. Wait, you killed the lot? Oh no, he's gonna kill this one too. Okay, wait, no, he's not. Wait, what? Why do you kill the last one, but not this one? That seems interesting. He had a chance to kill it. I guess he didn't want to summon the 5-5 five five yet, but it pays off for me. That's great news. All right. <laughs> I like how one person, by the way, said, yes, muted. There's only one troll in chat. I'm disappointed in the rest of you. How dare you? Uh, giving me 12? Oh no, killing this, okay. So, bowl of shots suddenly pretty interesting. I have, what, 16? So this does technically set up a lethal. Is there any way for them to play around that? I mean, they could deal 14 face, but it seems so unlikely. Oh, he forgot to combo this? Really? Oh, he did forget to combo this. Oh, whoa. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to just do it. I don't know. Whatever. I'm too too lazy to... I'm honestly too lazy to... Uh... Does this actually work? It still says trigger a random friendly minions, but I think we tried this before, right? And you can actually target it despite the wording. It shows the little targeting icon, so you must be able to. Yeah, I mean, I could be dead to like crazy spell damage over the top, right? Uh, but I don't think it will be. Seems unlikely. Guess we could have a secret eater SI as well. There is technically that problem. I don't even know if I'd be dead in that case though, right? There's 
only 11 damage on board, so probably would have been okay either way. Yeah, see, we didn't really need quest again this game. I don't know if we should have kept it or not. Hey, Mr. Zarcasm, dude. That's a good name. Zar. Like a Zar. Thanks for the sub. Awfully nice. Tinkus game of 51 months is insane. Uh, yeah, we like looming presence. I need cards. I need spells. I need, uh... Actually, don't hate my apocalypse either, honestly. I feel like I could maybe benefit more off the mana and the spells. The cards than my opponent in many cases. I like getting to Tonk. I like having mana for hero power ASAP. I actually think I like my apocalypse pretty well. I don't hate armor, but it's not like it's that significant. Yeah, I'm gonna take my apocalypse, honestly. There will be some decks that could punish that, of course, that have like, you know, big eight drops and stuff, but. Ah, uh, okay. It's a little bit of a like spelly package here. Uh, Play the Beatles is actually not bad. A little bit of life gain, death rattle bonus in there. Uh, Cold Car is pretty good. Team Beast, all right. Swamp King Dread, we don't need. Secret package here. I don't really need these. They're not like damage based or anything. So I, I think Dread's too slow, so we probably take here. That third one wasn't terrible, though. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. This is going pretty good so far. So how excited do you guys think you are for mercenaries? Like on a scale of one to 10 in chat, P post how excited you are for mercenaries. Scale of one to 10. It's a good mix. One, nine, six, four, one, two, seven, two, three, four. How did you guys get my social security number? <laughs> One ten zero eight three three seven five 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 negative one hundred. Good job following instructions. Zero one six seven one two eight two three eight seven seven point five eight ten five eight five three four five seven. Okay, that's about what I expected. Kind of across the board range it looks like. Yeah, I, I think that sounds about right. I'm higher than I was before, I have to say. I, I think in the past, I was probably like, uh, I don't know. And this is a really good death rattle against Priest. So there's a big part of me that wants to save it to get like double activations on it. So yeah, maybe I just go Fiery Bat on the hunt for now. It's kind of a weird turn, but... I think it's better if I can button this. This actually even puts more pressure on board too, so there's some upside to that maybe. Just know how important... Oh, this isn't that good against Shadow Cloth though. So never mind. That's not actually very... Oh, this is very nice. Uh, with Beetle. So do we wait? Mm, let's just go. Does this go off twice, I think? I, I think I've seen this before. It's gonna activate this twice, right? Not It doesn't need two different minions. It, it it activates the same minion twice, right? I think I saw somebody OTK me with Dark Moon Tonk on this, where the Tonk went off like five times, right? I'm pretty sure. In which case, six armor is a big deal. Plus there's another three on here too. And it might even stick for another three, which would be huge. Like, obviously, I'd rather have five fives on, on board or whatever, or four fours or something, but this is what we got, so we're going to play it. Uh, my hand is dead. I already need my apocalypse stat. <laughs> like, I'm stranded. Tonk is great for later, but we have three turns to fill in the meantime. Which, you know, good news is almost everything we draw is playable to some extent. <sighs> 29 life. This is actually 32 life. Piercing shot on it. Wow. Okay. Scary. Wand maker's a great draw. Gives me some filler here. Uh, sure. Uh, that's not that good against this we're thinking, right? Uh, advances quest, but for what purpose? Can target, but I don't have any death rattles anyway. Certainly don't have multiples. 
Ah. Uh. Is there any reason to wait for next turn on it? I may want to like Devil's Sword Egg Hero Power, so I guess we'll just go. May not actually be worth waiting for, right? I may need to fill that mana next turn. Depending on what we get. Like, yeah, if we get Ruby and Egg, sure, maybe next turn's better. But if I get Devil's Roar Egg or something, we'll want to go this turn. I guess Kill Command would be one reason to hold it, so I have Beast Energy. But I have, I have Hounds for that later, hopefully. All right, Hound is dead. Is Wandmaker dead? Wandmaker's dead. Is Idiot Dinosaur Bird dead? <laughs> it's, it's its name. <laughs> Thank God Blizzard doesn't have me naming cards. Every card would be called Idiot Dinosaur Bird. Uh, okay, so this is just stranded. This is pretty useless. Uh, I guess we'll do it just again to squeeze in some mana here. And we are hitting some dead draws in this deck. I gotta say, like, it feels very split down the middle right now between a spell deck and, uh, Death Rattle deck, right? Like, we don't have a lot of Death Rattle consistency or spell consistency because we keep, like, alternating. I feel like if we ever hit a, a, a draw where we line it up right, we're going to just be in business. But in the meantime, we're not hitting anything. So finally a minion for hounds. That's cool. Two minions for hounds. Wow. And an arcane shot. Let's freaking go. Can you actually target hero power when you complete first I'm part? Eight. It is usually. If I put them to six. Do I clear this? Like, oh, this is so scary to leave alive. This is so scary alive. Uh, yeah, I think so. It's got this icon. It still says random. Um, it still says random, but it's got the icon. So I, I think you can. I'm under the uh, expectation that you can. I think I have to kill this, right? Which, now this is great, this is really cheap, but I, I still can't do anything with it. I still don't have any death rattles. I don't know if losing that face damage is worth it, but I have like a Tonk I can just play next turn, right? So, I, you know, I think a clear board is more valuable. Just give me time to get the Tonk down. Oh, and this is zero mana, so I can't actually activate the Tonk. Oh, that's going to be insane. Oh, maybe it should have went face. No, because it would have been a board to eat the Tonk hits anyway, so no. This is better. Oh, my God. If I get my Apocalypse here, I... Oh, no, I can't refresh yet. I haven't played Tavish. Never mind. Never mind. That would be sick if I had, but I haven't. They healed me. I don't even mind. I'm getting a pretty good minion here, so... It's kind of chill. Yeah, this is actually sick, right? This is the first good use case of this we've had. Which I am thrilled about. There, that was weirdly animated, wasn't it? it? Didn't feel like that animated enough. I mean, it worked, but just set, it looked really strange. Velen. I, I name dropped Velen earlier. Do do do. <laughs> Oh my god, every time, dude. And they didn't... Wait, what What took all the damage there? Oh, I actually have eight here. I actually have seven here. Oh my god. I'm dead, though. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Oh, but this isn't lethal, is it? No, I only have seven. No! If one more ping had not hit Valen, I'd have lethal. Oh. I just needed one more ping to hit face, bro. Can't even see it in the. Uh. <sighs> Is this targeted? It won't let me target it, but there's only one, so I, I don't know if that tells us anything. Dude, that's so sad. If one ping had hit face, we'd have it. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> 10 damage mind boss, by the way. What year is it, dude? I don't want to live in this year. Ugh. Four damage ping is crazy. That's wild. Velen is nuts in this deck. He's just so expensive. Ah, uh, what a ripoff that game was, man. I am so sick of void idiots. Oh my god. I really need card draw if I grab this. I mean, it's got to be the pick. 
but I really need card draw. Like, desperately. Starving is not terrible. It's kind of intriguing, right? But I don't really have enough beasts. I have some little 1-1s one -ones and stuff. I think this is it. I just have to get card draw. Like, you're understand, well, there's card draw right here. Yeah, but then I don't have the discounts, right? Then I don't have insane cheap cards that are all spell damaged up. Um, how often am I going to get card draw is the question. Five mana talk. I don't think one card's worth the whole passive. Um, the, the problem with taking card draw without the tempo is, right, like I have a bunch of cards, but I don't have enough tempo to keep up. If I take this card, I have the tempo, but I don't have any cards. Plus, this demands a specific set of cards in my deck, whereas, although this demands a specific set, this is much easier. In other words, this is not only minions, but specific kinds of minions. This is literally just all spells are cheaper. And if you look, I mean, we're pretty split down the middle, I'd say... But beasts in particular, I have like sort of one. This is really good. Sort of one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beasts. So I'm drawing eight plus cards, depending on what the hounds is in a given scenario. I, I think I have to take the tempo. I, I really want to take the tempo, guys. Everybody else is saying take the take the draw. I feel like I've I've spent my mana every turn, every game, and I just ends up being a little bit short. Spells. I'm floating mana without cards to play. That's not true. I haven't floated any mana without cards to play. Last game I played Tonk on seven. Well, I guess on turn like five I did float some mana. Yeah, that's true. Like on five, I did have like no choices to make. It is true. My deck is split down the middle. I'm just worried I'm going to pick this and some games it's going to do nothing because I didn't hit the beasts. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I just like don't have that many beasts. I have a 24 card deck. Eight of those cards support starving. How many support uh, Cadgars? One, two, three, four, sort of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And I feel like this one's going to be easier to draft towards. Starving with hounds is sweet. Yeah, but that's one card. That, that's you know what I mean like I can't draft a passive for one hounds I'm gonna take a vote <laughs> let you guys decide I think you guys are gonna decide starving leave it up to fate uh or let's see I may overwrite the vote if I'm very motivated but I I'm split enough that I'm okay with a vote Uh, okay, currently Orb is taking the lead. I actually thought Starving was going to be based... I, I think we had a vocal mi a vocal minority in chat rooting for Starving. But Orb... Taking the... Well, it's... Oh, man, I don't know. The Orb voters were quick, but the Starving voters are thorough. Why is the Scepter the money? Because I don't think it's good. I have one card for Scepter. It's just not good enough. I, I would not ever pick Scepter, so. I guess there might be some Scepter voters out there, but sorry, no third party voters in this in this election. <laughs> You're gonna steal votes from the ones that matter. Um all right, Orb's gonna take it, it looks like. I don't know. I I'm I'm torn. I like Orb a lot. I think tempo matters so much in duels, but we're gonna have to draft big and draft card draw to make this work. The two things that will help Orb a ton. Uh, oh, look at all these excellent beast cards, guys. 
<laughs> Let's see what I've done here is I wanted orb, but now I can blame you guys when it fails instead of taking any responsibility myself. <laughs> I, I I was rooting for it, but I can blame chat. Uh, you guys picked it. What idiots. Um, we just don't have enough secret synergy. I like Scorpion a lot, right? We can discover a spell. Uh, Tavish is okay. Tavish can help me find beasts for starving. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, double stack, dude. Thanks for the four months, man. Thanks, double stack, dude. Listen, I, my experience in duels is the tempo matters way more than value, right? So I'm always going to be tempted to take tempo cards like orb. Because value doesn't matter if you just fall behind to somebody's emerald goggles, right? Like you just die. Like, yeah, I have eight cards in hand, but I'm dead. I'd rather try to maintain tempo and... Uh, I think I can do better than this, right? This is free. Might as well keep it. So in other words, um, I, I I think I have to be able to keep up, or I just that that's why I like the tempo play. Now I, I you, you can make an argument that robe applies enough uh, like tempo match because we're able to use spells to keep up better than we would otherwise, right? Like that's an argument to make is that you have a tempo satisfying card so that you should instead play for a value generator. I think that's reasonable. That's an argument to make for sure. I don't know if it's enough though. It really depends on probably whether or not we draw mind apocalypse exactly. I already feel like my hand is empty, so. <laughs> I'm already nervous. <laughs> Do you think you should reconsider some duels? Oh, they should reconsider some duels hero powers. Yeah, for sure. I think there's a ton that could be uh, improved upon. I don't think I can go egg uh, too early. I think I can't. I think I have to button the same turn I summon the egg to get enough value because their their thing just kills it too easily for free, and then I don't get enough button value. Now, see, here is like, we're kind of seeing something happen here, though, I'll say. Oh, my God, that is insane for me later, but this is just too good. Um, we are kind of seeing something happen here where... This is what Ah... I have deliberately sacrificed tempo to maintain value in hand already, right? Like, I, I took kind of a dead turn there on turn two to protect the value of the Devil's Sword Egg. As opposed to taking the max tempo line, right? So I am sort of playing against the own logic of the orb in a way. So yeah, but I do have free bananas. I'm waiting to use these, by the way, because I don't know what's going to stick. I'd almost rather hit the egg, but we'll see. Free bananas are worth all the orb. It's, it's a banana. What can it cost? Zero mana? I haven't watched the rest of development in 30 years, it feels like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One and three, baby. Let's go. I don't know about mana, but in BGs, it costs zero gold. Zero gold bananas. Yeah, it's even better reference, man. Somebody better do a banana Arrested Development uh, YouTube intro. Okay, double clear. I, I really don't mind that turn, though. Like, we went kind of even on that. Uh, okay, so we can actually get hero power down to zero here. Uh, it's pretty cool. The question right now, though, is do I save it 
for like do i save this i mean for post tavish i don't actually have a tavish activator yet i don't think i do i i think a five five here is good enough He's only got five mana. This is still a pretty awkward board to deal with. Because I still have the back half of the egg as well, right? So I, I think it's okay to go. Again, I'm going to wait to banana until I can hit face with him, hopefully, anyway. I don't think he'll clear everything here, so... That extra damage might matter. Man, I, if only I could draw, like, four cards off this board. <laughs> but remember, I wouldn't have this board. <laughs> Because I played a bunch of zero mana stuff, right? That's that's sort of the... Uh... What is this going to be? Oh, that's fine. Wait. 12, 14. Well, you might clear one. 11, 13, and 6 is 19. So not quite a lethal yet. But I, I guess, again, we kind of have to go here. This is not going to finish Tavish, unfortunately. It's one off. So, okay, this is this game is actually the perfect epitome of the tempo versus value argument, right? It's like, am I going to win because I developed enough tempo? Or is he going to stabilize and I wish that I had more value? It's coming down to exactly the wire on this perfect, uh, like, razor's edge between the two. It couldn't be a better... <laughs> it worked! So, so, see, tempo beat value this game right because we were able to play fast enough that we overwhelmed the opponent and they couldn't stay alive oh my god this is actually a great value hedge oh wow not only are they spells that are discounted but it's a generator every turn oh interesting oh this is too low value though right no, I definitely need to make sure I hit Archmage Staff as reliably as possible. No more loot. We have to hit Staff. Staff is important because the deeper into this run we get, the less likely Tempo is going to be able to win games, right? When our opponent has 40 health, we're going to need to stretch games out more turns. So I need to have Staff, right? We need Mindpocalypse and we need Staff still. Yeah, staff might actually save this run indeed. Yeah, it, it, it basically solves the value conundrum by itself. If we hit it, we have to hit it, though. We have to hit it, or it's not good enough. I think uh, I think we toss everything here that's not an egg or a staff, honestly. Right? Or maybe a Mindpocalypse is okay. Definitely don't need these spells enough. I do keep quests. I think it's meaningful enough to keep now. Although, I don't know, we never seem to finish it, so maybe it's not. That's a bad hand. I need way more value than this hand provides. This is a I'll terrible a hand. I cannot damage. deal 35 damage with this hand. I'll tell you that. Quick shot again. Oh my god. The cool thing about quick shot is I can actually maybe empty my hand next turn. Uh, I can almost do it this turn. Depending on what I draw, I might be able to cycle the quick shot into another card, which is terrifying. <laughs> That's the last thing I want because it means I am totally out of gas. Uh, okay. Scorpid means I can't go for the quick shot route. Uh. I think we'll just chill in that case. Where is staff? Where is staff? Imagine how good all these mage spells could be, right? If I get staff. They could just be insane. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what you just said on the, in the cheer. Yeah. Mage spells are so good for staff, right? Be value generator. Um. I mean, these are sort of value generators. I, I think I might just take Call of the Wild, though. It's only seven mana. I think it's better. Where is staff? I think I, think I can get to, to seven Ireland? mana. <laughs> I forgot to hire the, that's actually funny. Forgot to hire the staff. 
I, I think I can get to seven mana. Swarm is like kind of cool with Lepernome, but it's like, ah, uh, it's not really going to get me there, right? I don't think it's going to get me there. Um, I mean, if I hit like, I don't know, some really insane minion Death Strider or something with Swarm, like, yes, that would be nuts. But I don't know that that's going to happen, right? I think I'm going to take Call. This does kind of mess up with the quick shot too, but I don't really want to play for quick shot, so I don't know. Let's just get let's just get the meatiest thing. This is the value card, really. You know, theoretically, the other two made value, but harder to work with, I would say, because I'm just worried Mage isn't really going to play enough minions to reliably swarm, especially on like key turns that I really want to. You know, like yeah, I can do it next turn with Lepernome and Venomous Scorpion, but they're going to be minions on board. Just ignite again? Are you joking, dude? Wait, why was that? That was already the three damage ignite back in hand. Wow, what a god. Love that I have to face quest mage in every facet of the game. It's very exciting news. Oh, I could quick shot this turn if I didn't have this idiot. Although not really, because I'd have stampeding or devouring that I couldn't use. Uh, okay. Gonna wait on these spells. They just don't really do much right now. Could theoretically squeeze in the Wound Prey to get the 1-1 one, one on board. Would be sort of cool, but... To activate the Kill Command, but I don't have mana for that if I button, so... We'll just chill. Ah, uh, man, where is Staff, dude? I really need Staff. I'm gonna get raced down too hard, I think, though. Soon I have to just, like, turn the corner and go face, I think. I don't really have a choice. I hate that I'm going to have to, like, kill a Mana Worm here, maybe. Wound Prey is not bad at that, but I sort of just hate having to do it. Surely this gets pinged, right? Oh, well, not anymore. Mage Secret. They are so far along quest. Oh, my God. Do I have any way to gain HP from staff? I, I think technically... It's not actually that easy, but counterspell test. Um, I really hope this isn't Oasis ally. Is there any way? Did he? I, were you guys watching? I, I I think he already had frost right with brain freeze. I don't even. I don't know. I'm over it. I don't care. <laughs> Just, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. It's an arcane secret. Okay, that's good to know. So, if it's arcane, it's probably... Well, it's not... Well, it could be Spellbender. I only went face, I guess, huh? Duplicate, maybe? Oh, Fire Shaper is murdering me, man. Action. Oh, interesting. Okay. This just got pretty cool. Can I set up lethal here? This is six, but this only deals five. The Mastiff sticks, it would technically deal more. Um... It does finish my Tavish, but that doesn't really help me right now. Uh, I guess I just do it, though, because I don't have the mana. Like, do I want to play for the quick shot on turn eight, since I know this doesn't kill? This only deals five. Uh, this puts them at nines. This is never lethal. Spellbender is not an arcane secret? Are you serious? What is it? Just a person? I'm gonna wait since this doesn't set up lethal, I don't think. Um, if I hit Tonk, I can still use it. So if there's like a Tonk lethal, even though I don't think there is, I think it's one off. Um, it still wouldn't do anything, so. Am I dead, really? 
Really? Crossbolt's not dead. Oh, are they playing? Oh, no, they're not playing. Do, do, do. It's just some girl bending spells. Yeah, no, it makes sense. She's she's a character that gets summoned. She's like, surprise, I'm a spell bender. And she's not in any way uh, using arcane capacities to achieve said spell bending. Just her natural skills. I need plated beetle, bro. Plated beetle off the top, please. Oh, no way. No way, I actually hit the plated beetle. No way, I can't unfortunately though uh, use Tavish. Uh, it's it's really close to being able to use Tavish, but it's not enough. Uh, Cause I gotta use this to get the Tavish and then I don't have a spell to refresh the beetle. Uh, I mean, this is definitely still happening though. So. Oh, I gotta hit this, I think, right? I was gonna go face, but that's two damage I can net. I don't ever kill my own beetle, do I? <laughs> it's like, technically killing my own beetle heals me more than killing their beetle. <sighs> By one. Oh yeah, Fire Shaper means it doesn't really because Fire Shaper may ping my beetle. That's that's right. Oh my god, please animate. Oh my god. You're taking too long to animate, bro. Yeah, Fire Shaper's a reason to kill their beetle, right? Because Fire Shaper pings might hit my, my beetles or minions instead. It increases the odds that my beetle gets pinged by a little bit. So. I like this line better. I don't care about the explosive drop enough because we're not like in lethal range anyway right now. All right, so I need Tonk and somehow magically also a spell. <laughs> I, need, I need both. Uh, what is this, nine and there's 16. So this would add uh, uh, seven. So actually if both these lives and I got Call the Wild, I'd have lethal here. Ah, uh, that seems sort of unlikely, but not impossible perhaps. Is there any way for me to heal off the top? I don't think so. Anything that I can combo to deal damage? Uh, not really, actually. Kill Command's too expensive to play. Oh, no, it's not. I can play Kill Command Call of Wild. Yeah, that would be sick. Two mana and seven mana, yeah. Oh, taunts. Oh, whoa. Huh. Oh, my God. I actually got the Kill Command. This is no longer lethal, though. Oh. I only have 11 that can go face. Um, which means I probably have to clear, right? Oh man, I would have had lethal if it wasn't for the taunts. Can I leave this tin tin up? I don't see how, right? Like I just, I don't see how. There's just no way, right? Nowhere to hide. Oh, I'm low on time. I'm at I'm at fourteen. Taking a gamble, guys. I don't know. This may get punished, obviously, but I, I, this is kind of a hedge, right? I'm at 17, thanks to all the refreshes on the beetle. Taking a gamble, I think I need a minion to stick to win, right? So, just pray there's no good AoE in particular. This is really debatable, but I actually like this play pretty well. It's like a middle ground, you know? Maximize armor output, still have a disruptive taunt, potentially, right? Like, that taunt may matter a lot here. Leave behind some threatening minions that demand responses, which they didn't really respond super well to last time. So they kind of need a card off the top here to, like, change their fate, um, as far as we can see. 
Is Trump here? Hey, <laughs> Trump, dude, what's up? Oh my God. Trump in the house, what an MVP, VIP, everything. Oh my God. Is that enough to do anything? Uh, Dawn Grass can come down, but that doesn't matter. The Tintin can trade. Going face doesn't change the Tintin's math, unless they have more damage. They just play Dawn Grass, but that doesn't feel like enough, right? Truly, Dawn Grass isn't the play here. Oh, actually, they fully trade. I only have two, huh? Shoot. Anna, they don't play Dawn Grass, they freeze. That makes more sense. Tavish is complete and utter garbage. No! <laughs> Reflections Huffer! Ah! Uh! Welcome! Boys, make some room by the hearth, won't ya? The freeze is so clutch! So I play this. Do they go face or do they kill these, right? Uh... I guess, I guess maybe they try to go face and end, and then the explosive trap bails me out. I, I don't know. I don't really have a choice, right? I need them to like play a few things into unleash the hounds, basically. If I'd gotten a top tech unleash here, would that would have been lethal? No. Uh, I don't really have any good draws. Is the problem? I think Tonk is like my only good draw, right? Nothing else matters. Just I dead. I like how much mana is going into Dawn Grass. Do they go face? And does that change anything for me? Oh, that second flame is so good now. Shoot, I didn't think about that. Does this go face or trade? Surely it goes face, right? Oh, that's good order if it does go face. Is it gonna trade? It actually trades. What a boss. What a boss, dude. Okay, so what is my out here? They're dealing at least 11 damage. Well, no, yeah, nine damage next turn. Too, but this hero power needs a proper target. It's just not the hero power is so bad, dude. Uh, what's my out? How much damage can one maker get me? Is there any way to loop into multiple spells so that I can activate multiple death rattles is another question, right? Like if I save this for next turn and I start death rattle chaining it, how many pings can go face? I don't really see any chains in the deck. Hounds could be another out. Tonk could be an out, in which case I would want to play this now if I tonked. Archmage Staff, the problem is I need a second turn. It won't it won't help me this turn because it's start of turn. I'm gonna hold a turn, I guess. Just so that the 2-2 two -two doesn't have anything good to trade into, you know? Basically I strand the 2-2 two -two this turn. I, I think I'm screwed though. I, I kinda need like unleash the hounds into just magic. I don't even know why. That'd be a good ping target, right? Oh, explosive handles it though. Never mind. Save ping for face. I do get three out of the explosive, which is nice. Uh, five. Any, I mean, hounds right now would deal two. Oh, my dad. They got another ignite. Jeez. They only need three. Pings almost always kill me. Not quite though. Alive at one. That's not it. Oh, crap, dude. So freaking close. Ah! God! Hey, mercy me, dude. Thanks to the Prime sub. I gotta go soon, too. I actually have to leave in like 20 minutes. This run was like the exact wrong length. I don't have time to really... St I guess we'll do a tavern brawl real quick. I have time for a quick tavern brawl. Yeah, I don't really like this style of deck, guys. I don't know. It feels uh, too split. It's like you either want... I think you've got to commit more to Death Rattles or more to spells. I still think the Death Rattle stuff's a little low tempo. Like, it takes a lot of mana. I liked... The turns we had a zero mana hero power and a Death Rattle, I was like, boo, yeah. Every other turn, I was like, nah. This ain't it. It's I just too much mana. Warrior in Tavern Brawl. 
but patches is banned so it was not as good as oh patches it. yeah i haven't even really looked at it. i know it's like the four card thing i just want to do shenanigans right like i don't actually want to do real decks um like what would be the biggest shenanigan deck you know what's the best way to uh shenanigan our opponent like Sheldris and a bunch of big stuff's probably way too slow. You need like lightning blooms, that won't work. Uh Mill stuff could be kind of fun. Don't don't if you're suggesting good ideas in chat, no. I won't have it. I don't want good ideas. I want meme ideas. I want like a mill deck. So cold lights naturalizes. Uh, I don't know what else. Problem is you pick four cards. Maybe ferocious owls to keep me alive. Three. Doesn't really make my opponent draw though. What else would be good? Cold light. What? I need four things that make my opponent draw cards. How do I win though? Is the question. I don't know if we do. <laughs> I think the answer is you don't win. Uh. I did a shuffle rogue once. Shuffling bunch of lab guys into my deck. Lab guys. Oh, I forgot that guy was a card. Uh, it's really not other good. Is there Jade Idol? Maybe we could get them to, to ban the Jade Idol, even though I don't care about it at all. Oh, it's banned. No, no. Like, I want to bait a ban, basically. Convince them to ban something. It's not remotely important to me. And then just mill them. <laughs> they're just gonna, the problem is right, they're just going to, I mean, I won't have enough cards, right, to stay, I don't know if I can, this doesn't really make sense. Why do I actually win? Just fatigue damage them and heal out of it? Uh, I need something that shuffles into my deck in that case, which, which Jade Idol would be, but there's no other could do Malorn. Astral Tiger, I guess. Kind of cool. <gasps> I kind of like the idea of just giving them a bunch of weasel tunnelers. That's kind of fun. Oh, I could do Northshire Farmer. But I would need a beast. Oh, I could do Vibrant Squirrel. This is kind of a neat idea. Like, uh, just draw into a bunch of little guys that win. And then, what if they ban Vibrant Squirrel, though? What do I do? I just don't do anything. <laughs> that doesn't really work, does it? I need, like, two independent, um, Educated Elix kind of a good idea. Maybe I could go Elix and Squirrel. That's not a crazy idea. So then even if they ban the squirrel, I still have Elix. If they ban Elix, I still have squirrels. If they ban Naturalize, I still have Cold Light. If they ban Cold Light, I still have Naturalize. I mean, I guess if they ban Cold Light, I'm not really drawing my own squirrels that much. You know? Yeah, let's try this. Think about squirrels, it has the squirrel and the token squirrel. Well, we don't have a token squirrel if they ban the squirrel. They get to ban a card. So we wouldn't have a token or a regular squirrel. I don't know, this idea is really wacky, but I have 15 minutes, so we're going to make the most of it. <laughs> like, we're going to make it go. It's going to sing, baby. It's going to sing. What happens if you put, is a Cthulhu banned? Does the start of game animation go off? I don't know, whatever, eight times or something if Cthulhu's not banned? This is the sickest portrait, by the way. When do you ban the card? I, I've never done this before. I didn't ban anything. How do they ban it if I already have one in hand? Oh, here we go. Oh, one of the cards is hidden? I didn't know that. 
I didn't realize that. So what gets banned? Oh, it gets replaced? Oh. Okay. They banned the squirrel. All right. Let's go, bring it. <laughs> like it's time. Uh, let's go. I definitely want to Elec into naturalizes, right? I want as many naturalizes as possible because that's going to help me keep up in both removal and still achieve the fatigue win condition, right? Oh, I love how full their hand is already. Yes. Let's go. Wonder what card they didn't see. My hand is too full. My hand is too full. Double Apex is down. I love it. I think I'll go Elec next turn. Uh it's one is fine already. That's great. Get more later. Okay. I think them leaving me naturalized was beautiful, honestly. Like Two more apexes is down. That's four apexes blast burnt. Okay. Keep keep filling your hand. <laughs> yes! I love it. That was amazing. That couldn't have gone better. Genius. Unreal. <laughs> they just noped out so fast. Oh, that's delightful. That's great. This is a fun deck. I can just do this all day. I keep I keep having fun in Timer Brawls, man. I don't know. It's just it always ends up being pretty fun. I got to say. All right, this is a good mix. We don't have Squirrel. I wonder if they'll ban. Uh... You know, I, I, it's interesting because all four cards kind of look important if you look at this. You know. Any of the four you see, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's going to fuel their whole deck. I think I would ban Naturalized if I ran into this, but that's because I know what I'm dealing with. Uh, I guess it depends a little bit on what your deck is like about. If you don't have any minions, Naturalized may not be that good, but even I can Naturalize my own stuff too, so I don't know. I'd, I'd Oh, they banned Squirrel again! Everybody keeps banning Squirrel! Oh, we're definitely banning Mech Warper. That's scary. This is going to be a brutally fast deck. I am in trouble. Hopefully the naturalizes can keep up though. I want to play an Oracle ASAP. So I have plenty of naturalizes to keep up because basically when I naturalize, I'm going to get even more high tempo stuff. So they kind of have the same thing, right? Like two discounters, you know? And I'm making their hands fuller. So they're getting even more discounts. Okay, Metal Tooth's really, everything's really cheap here. Metal Tooth's gonna blow me up this turn. I have no cold lights in hand. Jeez, I'm giving them too many of them. Oh god, Snip Snap, oh no, that's scary too. Jeez, I don't even need a Metal Tooth. I'm so dead, I can't keep up, there's no way. Oh god, stop. Oh, these naturalizes aren't fast enough, dude. There's no way. Look at this. God dang it. Maybe this was actually... I don't know. They're, this and Mech Warper kind of do the same thing. So I don't. it's hard to say which would be the more reasonable uh, target there. I think I am screwed though, right? Because I'm just refilling their hand. They're just going to do it again the next turn. So it's not like I've really done anything, right? And now I'm going to be out of naturalizes. So I just have the same problem over and over again. Gonna watch the cards game tonight. I, I'm honestly not a baseball guy at, I, at all. Baseball guy at all. If I can speak English. But uh, I don't know. I thought about popping it on maybe. It's kind of fun to follow along. The playoff dream. So I don't know. I haven't watched the game in 12 years, but maybe. It's already started, it looks like. We're in the middle of the first. Yep. 
up. This ain't gonna do it. Good try. GG. You naturalized the wrong one, Regis! My hand is too full. Well played. Baseball is the worst sport. Yeah, I'm not a biggest baseball guy. It's so slow to me. I vastly prefer basketball, football. Very slow to me. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to beat that. That seems brutal. Uh, if that's a common thing, is there any any good tech answer to mechs? Is there any crab for mechs? Anything that answers mechs efficiently? I can't think of anything. Feels like there might be, but. Malfurion versus Maev. But I can't think. None can escape my fury. I will heal the eternal forest. Okay. Sure, that's a good mix. Rogue. What's Rogue gonna have? SI7 cards, maybe? No, quest would be weird. Oh, uh, seems like Cutlass is important. I don't know. Seems like they'd want to play in a Cutlass as their payoff engine for their thievery. Is Squirrel going to get banned again? I can't believe Naturalize isn't getting banned because it strands my Elec. If they have, I guess they don't know that, though, really. They don't have that informational advantage because they won't know what the fourth card is. So it could always be another spell or a hidden Elic or a hidden Naturalize. So there's always an explanation to not, you know, like, oh, they might have another spell, even though I don't. Uh, silence does not silence a minion's minion type. So it remains a beast even when silenced. It only silences text within the box or a enchantments applied below the box. Oh, they got rid of the naturalized finally. Okay. So now we have the vibrant squirrel swarm line this time around. After we kill some some squirrels, we play oracles to hit more squirrels. And we have a squirrely good time. But now our Elix are kind of just spider tanks, right? Not not very good. I mean, we can still use them for our opponent's stuff, so they're not like they're stranded stranded. But not something we control, anyway. But, you know, on occasion, getting our opponent's stuff in an Elec might be game-winning. Yeah, maybe a squirrel was hidden this time. Yeah. I don't know. I'm always still surprised that people go for the squirrel so hard, though. Honestly, I... I don't think it's the scariest looking thing. I guess if you know there's cold lights, it's kind of scary, yeah. And it's like the most aggro-y, so maybe it's pretty spooky. He seems surprised? How <laughs> did the opponent seem surprised? What do you mean? Did they like hover over it or something right away? I, I'm curious what indicator you got that the opponent was surprised. That sounds amusing to me, I must say. Plagiarize for an Elec. He hovered squirrel for four seconds. Okay, yeah, maybe he was surprised. Could be. <clears throat> uh, now Elex are pointless. No, they still work on opponent's cards, right? It, it remembers anybody's spells, not just yours. So not, not totally pointless. I mean, maybe bad sometimes, honestly. Like, sometimes we may not want our opponent's spells in the deck because it makes acorns harder to find, but, but you know, theoretically still a little value. This is insane. Oh, my God. Look at this. I see why people ban the squirrels now. This is actually sort of nuts. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't even mean to, and it was a genius... <laughs> oh, it was genius. Oh my god. That that was indeed a nut draw, yeah. That was the nut draw. <laughs> oh, what a joy. All right. I mean, they're stuffing this guy right now, man. 
Uh, Dragon's words are pretty cool, though. I mean, as far as spells go, I'm, I'm okay with this. They gotta resolve my board, though. They're screwed. Like, their hand is not cut out to react to this at all. What was their third card? I don't even remember. Oh, they had plagiarize? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Alright, my deck is going to be so full of stuff. My hand is full. Oh, clever disguise. That's what it was. Okay. They need like Raz here to even stay alive. No, that doesn't even keep them alive. Never mind. I don't know what they need. They don't have it, I don't think. The squirrel army was too much. Hey, Parthamore, dude. Thanks for the 50 bits. That's good to, good to see. Thank you. <laughs> Dinosaur said, how can I unsubscribe? <laughs> I can't blame you, sir. Guys, did, did we make the best Tavern Brawl deck? Is this is this the undefeated? No, that hunter is definitely the best one. Mech hunter is good. All right. Burn some uh, burn some acorns, baby. Ooh. I kind of want to play this in wild, like a legit squirrel deck. I don't know if there's way to get better squirrel plays but it seems pretty good like we already like mill druid and wild a lot i don't think tossing in a squirrel would be especially troubling you know i think we could do that i was gonna play wild today that sounds like how i want to do it or I'm out of time today, but like tomorrow or whatever. I will heal the okay. Sure. If they if they let me keep squirrels, this is great. If not, you know, we'll sort it out. Funky skunky. Surprised they aren't playing mage. <laughs> yeah. What do they take? Oh, they banned the Elec. Wow. Oh. Uh, sure. I don't know. I think I can keep up with Wisps and stuff. The Evolve looks spooky. I wonder what the... Uh, there's surely another Evolve card. Maybe, like, the three drop. Maybe the weapon. Uh, what could it be, guys? What else could be the three drop? I will say Naturalize is probably not very good in this one. Oh, is it Unstable Evolution? It is. Okay. Really not that great. They're like kind of all in. I mean, I guess if they hit Unstable Evolution off the top, they're in a decent spot. But if they hit Wisps and stuff again, I mean, I don't know. I don't love cold lighting them, though, to be honest, or naturalizing them. They're going to punish that quite a bit by just playing really high tempo plays. What is that? It must be a Wisp again. I even called the right one. Wow, look at me. So would I dump another squirrel or just hero power? Probably just hero power, right? Uh, if I dump another squirrel, I get slightly better cold light oracle next turn is the down the difference. Um Alright, let's just squirrel in that case. I wanna make sure to get a really, really good cold light oracle next turn and swing with a bunch of squirrels, essentially. So I can win this board back. I mean, it's still going to be kind of like even, more or less. Cold Light itself will be the best minion, I guess. But they're going to play like two more things. So they might get some unstable plays, etc. Need lots of acorns, please. One acorn. And that's it. I had 12 out of 33, so... It's actually not even that likely to get an acorn. It's fine. Could have done better. Could have done worse. All right. Still dead-ish draws, but is that an unstable? Because if so, that's really good, right? 
four mana now is suddenly a pretty threatening minion. Yeah. Did they attack first? I can always naturalize that one, but whatever kind of unstable minion they land on, if they go all in on one anyway. Oh, whoa. Beardy boy. Hey, finish him, dude. Thanks for the three months. I like this, splitting it out a little bit. Thankfully, they only got a one attack minion. That's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, two attack. Okay, sure. Need more acorns to catch this back up, right? Come on, acorns. Come on, dude. Oh my god, man. I'm gonna have to keep giving them too many cards. I need the acorns to catch up, and I'm just not hitting any. I think I have 11 in the deck still. Ugh. They're gonna die. They're gonna outrace me here because they just keep building boards of zero mana at 1 1, idiots. This guy trades too cleanly. Unstable can hit again here. Like, again, if they go really big, I can keep up, which they know those. So I think they should spread them out more, right? Or play for like a death rattle or something. If I were them, I'd spread them out a little more. Because you know I have naturalized in my deck. Oh my god, that would be insane if you had spells left. Oh, what a bad one to end on for them. That's unlucky. Jeez, that sucked. Feel bad for them now. All right, come on, baby. Acorns, my god. There we go. There it is. Naturalize again. Acorn, yes. Here we go. Yes. This was the turn we finally flipped the script, right? That was great. Okay. So. How many more unstables do we have to deal with? I don't know. I don't have a lot of naturalizes yet, but now I'm ahead on minions at least. So that's good news. Kind of getting light on acorns, weirdly enough. Oh, they just missed the trade on the uh, cold light. That's interesting. Why didn't they kill the cold light, I wonder? They wanted to shuffle more in. I can't think of a reason for that. Maybe just too quick. Ah, it's another 1-1. One, one. I need more naturalizes. I'm gonna have to like double cold light this turn to keep up. Oh, they can't target it. No, that's unfortunate, man. They're getting some terrible rolls on these, I feel like. That's pretty good for his cost. Uh, I might try to spread this one out. That's not bad. Yeah, see, only after two evolves, you barely netted any extra stats. You gained one extra stat. I mean, it is health, which is the better stat, I guess, but still didn't net a ton. Acorns are good. Acorns are good. <laughs> I actually kind of need more squirrels now and less... Cold lights, but I don't know. I also need naturalizes, so I kind of have to play cold lights, I think. I just hope I don't get a lot of acorns now. Now is when I actually don't want the acorns. Oh, this was actually perfect. Okay, sweet. We stranded, but we can develop more squirrels. But I, I need naturalizes. I'm so far ahead on board now that I can maybe just play for fatigue and like keep trading into stuff, but I'm going to need naturalizes to make this really exciting. So I'll probably trade in the, the acorn squirrels, then like cold light to find some naturalizes and then go from there. I think we'll be okay now. <laughs> yeah, look at this hand. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Six gold light oracles. And this Valfury portrait's really sick too. Really cool. I still feel like they'd be a little better off spread. There we go, spreading it out a little bit. I think this makes more sense. Oh, that's kind of fun. Can I target my stuff? Uh, no, it's friendly minion, okay. Kind of get a bonus there, that's nice. I guess the problem is though that these really just don't get that big, even in like perfect scenarios. I burned an acorn, no. Everything to two mana and hope to get no. Zork or Elemental. He is totally doing it wrong. No. Let's do this. Make some space. Uh, do we give them a random spell? 
Oh, yeah, you can get Sorcerer's Apprentice. That's right. Or Radiant Elemental. Yeah, I forgot about that. The two mana upside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually sick. How many uh, acorns do we have? Six? I guess we have to give them the random spell here. I don't really have to, but, you know, whatever. Do it this way before I put more in, because I really want to naturalize her later. I'm going to run out otherwise. Oh, my God. Where are the naturalizes, bro? There we go. Okay. I mean, I have an advantage right now, but it's mostly acorns. <laughs> like, it's it's technically a fatigue advantage, it looks like. Because obviously the naturalizes have put me ahead in fatigue, but it's still mostly acorns. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, it makes me nervous to only have the one naturalized still, but I might just have lethal, right, with all of this burn. Double cold light naturalizes seven mana, so I don't really have... That's what, six draws? So he takes one and two is three, and three is six, and four is ten, and five is fifteen, and six is twenty-one, plus his natural draw is twenty-eight. Plus my minion attacks should be lethal, right? Should be lethal. This should be the, the uh, game ender here. I'm gonna draw a lot of acorns in the meantime. Oh my god. Uh, oh man. If he had two taunts, I would actually maybe not have lethal. I think it'd be really close. But I do, so I think we're alright. Oh, I need to make sure I have board space, though. If the acorns lock me out... Okay, sweet. I do. Nice. Well, I actually only have board space, but I can play a uh, naturalized now. I don't need to play double cold light. So even if I lock out here, I'll still be fine. Yeah, I did lock out, but I, we got there, I think. He's taking 5 and 6 for 11. This is 12. He'll be at 2, and then he'll take 7 off the final thing, right? Yo, no, you can naturalize your own guys. Oh, I should have naturalized my own guy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, well, it may still not have mattered. Because I had so many acorns. I would have still filled up. It didn't matter. I didn't need two number one and number two. It, it doesn't help. Cause, oh, well, no, it would have helped. Never mind, because I don't draw off my own naturalized. Never mind, it would have helped. I lied. I would have guaranteed the spot. Uh, Sweet! That was fun. I gotta go. That was a good way to end the stream, actually. That was really cool. That's gonna be YouTube video worthy, I think. That was really fun. Uh, 90% of people said I wouldn't win. Wow! 90% of votes. Actually, it's only barely any people actually voting. But 90% of dust. Dunked on indeed. Uh, Arcana can do. Thanks for the... Uh, 39 months wow appreciate it that is a big sub actually insane uh thank you thank you i gotta go guys let me drop a raid before i hop off uh carry the love on here sounds like a bad song carry the love on here ah uh. Okay. All right, everybody. Have fun on the raid. Random person here. Enjoy. Wish them luck, etc. Thanks for hanging out tonight. I uh, should be back tomorrow. I think I'll actually be playing some mercenaries if they let us again. We've done this early playtest stuff, so... Um... I don't know. I may may get a little distracted doing that, but I'll still try to stream full on tomorrow. So anyway, we'll probably do some more duels. May do some wild. I actually want to do uh, kind of this stuff in wild. So we'll do that and uh, see you soon. Thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for the subs and bits and follows and all that great jazz as always. Good luck out there in the universe. Thanks much for watching. And until next time, game on.